I will not make no money off this video unless I get donations. This will be an unmonetized video because it has to be. Uh, the Marvon name is, is bad. You can't put it in your uh, name. Uh, it's House. So if you're new, and I know I got a, a lot of new subs, and I want to say uh, thank you for um, subscribing and spending your time here with me. Um, the Marvon McRae case was uh, very compelling for a lot of us. Um, if you don't know, uh, Dre McRae was a, a young lady who uh, A lot of you guys know um, that I'm working on an upload over this whole mess, so I didn't prepare massively for this stream. It's going to be a little more chill than usual than it was last night, at least, and the day before. Uh, so just prepare for that if you're watching the replay or live right now. Also, I have a request for you. If you see a moment in the stream where a video that we're looking at is lying about Dre, attacking Dre, putting Dre down, treating her inappropriately... Put into the chat, hashtag, justice for Dre. Because we have these people out there that go to these places and they create these hashtags as movements that are they heavily monetize in inappropriate ways. We've been complaining about it for a while. And as it sits, they just keep doing it and keep doing it. Uh, an example would be taking a video of with no perpetrator. A video where there's no justice to be gotten from someone like the Dre situation. And they take the body cam video and exploit the man, the veteran who committed suicide or tried to. And they exploit the wife who saved his life and cut him down and gave him CPR and actually rushed him to the hospital. If it wasn't for her, he would have died. And they called her a murderer. If it wasn't for her, he'd be gone right now. And they... Put everything on her and have put her down and, and, and insulted her and that's where we're at today I could give you a long intro I don't want to uh, what I told Navy the last two nights after these streams I said to him you know man because we meet after the stream just to talk for a second I said bro I don't go to bed ever no matter what we're looking at depressed or feeling depressed or sad or down I usually go to bed after a stream and I've been hyped and I've been doing a, you know, laughing and joking through the whole stream and I, I'm tired and I'm having a good time like watching something and trying to pay attention to what I'm looking at while I pass out. Because <clears throat> Rachel and I both, we like having a TV on when we go to sleep. We're that kind of couple. <laughs> I know some couples don't do that. We do. Anyway, though, I've been depressed when I go to bed after these streams. Thinking about Dre. Nothing from my own life. No pressures from my own life. Everything's good on this side of things. Thinking about the way she's treated. Thinking about Marvon. Thinking about the kids. Because when you see the way these people have treated this family, when there's no perpetrator, they are just insulting the entire family. Regardless if they say they are or not, you have to look at what they're doing. If you're going to blame Dre... For not loving him enough, not acting fast enough, not keeping an eye on him. It applies to the children too. It applies to more than just like other scenarios, other veteran or even regular events like this where this happens and the, the situation is similar. I put this on my community tab. That is logic, though. I mean, you, it, it's arguable, and it's showable, it's provable, It's you can back it up with evidence, and you can draw it out, and you can show how when it's one reason why we don't go in to suicides, grab video of what happened, and plaster it on YouTube, and start judging people for not saving someone enough, not acting a certain way, not crying hard enough. These Things have been happening for days on this platform with their victim. The 
target being Dre. Now, if there was a perpetrator, what they would be doing is what they did with Idaho. They would take one of the surviving victims in Idaho that, that weren't attacked by Brian Koberger, and they would make them, uh, they would criticize them and put them down because they didn't call the cops until noon, literally without them even knowing what happened, insinuating that these women sat around knowing that their friends are out there and just sitting in their rooms eating popcorn and watching TV. Most people, I would think, in the world, I can only think of three people that I know of, four. I only know of four people that would ever sit and eat popcorn and laugh and joke and smile and act like that while either experiencing something like that or watching a video of something like that, and that's Molly, Justin, LB, and Letitia Bias. They're the only four people on this planet that I know of that would pull a suicide video or pull a uh, like an Idaho situation where they would, you know, be, you know, uh, just acting this way about it. And we know why. And I'm not going to drone on. Short intro. They're doing this because they went in in the beginning of this case, made all their money by demonizing Dre and making her the bad guy because she was an easy target. Part of her uh, slay with Dre McCrae thing was that she slays life. No, she's a wife, a mother, and a woman who slays life. They want to act like, I just watched a clip and we're going to see it in a minute. Forgotten Whispers did a great video. We're going to look at it. Other people have all done videos. I'm starting to see great videos come out. We're going to try to put a focus on them. Of course, if I put a focus on a video, and it's from a creator who clipped things and did a good job with it. I am recommending them, and I want you to go support them and watch them and all that. So, you know, trying to spread this community out, get this community together, and get people networked so that we have a voice against these people because they are gaining subs the wrong way. They are gaining subs through picking someone vulnerable like Dre and going in and trying to steal her subscribers by defaming her, slandering her, and lying about her. And with us making these arguments, they can't even answer them. They cannot even answer our arguments when we lay them down perfectly on the screen to where no other person out there should have a problem with our arguments. You know, like I'm saying, if a third party YouTuber came in and watched their content and watched our content, they wouldn't say we're in the wrong, we're over judging, we're doing something that we shouldn't be doing by criticizing these people. In fact, they would be on our side and they would be agreeing with us that you don't treat people this way. Because this is baseline. We're not in to advanced debates about a higher philosophy, higher ethics or morals and how you treat people. We are on the baseline of treating people evilly, nastily, whatever you want to say, right? Evil. <clears throat> and they do it because they made Dre a target so they could monetize her. They took the knife that she waves around in the most joking way. Like, it is so cringy that these people are trying to take that knife thing, and it, which is a joke from Dre that she plays into her caricature on her streams and, and her lives, and they try to spin it around as if it's her doing something wrong or it's indicative of her character or whatever it may be, right? And so the videos I'm going to show you right now Thanks to these creators, we'll shout them out as we go, starting with Forgotten Whispers, someone I've shouted out a lot lately, so you can find her easily. Um, very easily to search any of these creators by their name, and if they don't come up when you search their name, like Menace to Sobriety, if you search his name, some other things might come up. You can put Menace to Sobriety, Molly Go Lightly, Forgotten Whispers, Molly, or Forgotten Whispers, Molly Go Lightly, and they'll come right up. The video that they've done will. And then you can find all their other videos after you find their channel. But the main thing is, tonight I would typically tell you my pay link, tell you to subscribe and like. Okay, fine, I just did it. The main thing, hashtag justice for Dre. If someone's lying on Dre, correct them on Twitter and put justice for Dre, hashtag justice for Dre. If you see a YouTube creator that's attacking Dre and you wanna leave a comment, don't forget to put hashtag justice for Dre. I'm not telling you to do it, I'm telling you if you do. If someone's live and you end up leaving a comment, make sure that it, with your opinion, you put hashtag justice for Dre. And, and here's why. When they did justice for Marvon, it was a lie. 
It was a lie. Marvon did this to himself, and it was mental illness. It was something that takes many of us, many of our brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, mothers, and fathers, and he was a victim of that, right? So when you go in and say that another human being is responsible for what happened to Marvon, you must correct that. You must tell them if there is no perpetrator to, to, for these people to target and go at and treat badly, what are they doing this for? It's the thing that exposes them the most. This situation, Dre McRae and Marvon, has turned into their worst nightmare. Because you have to not think about this all the time as someone that's followed it the whole time, okay? You have to sometimes think about this from the perspective, right, that you just are a regular person who has no idea what happened that comes in and sees what they're doing. And if we were, if we were putting ourselves in those shoes, if we were putting ourselves in the shoes that we are a third party who just came in and saw what's going on and you watched LB's stream or Molly's stream or Justin's stream, any of this stream, and, and you knew the, the facts of the case. What were the facts? The facts were this man did this to himself. His wife and kids found him. Did you know Dre had to constantly yell at the kids to go back in the house? Right? This was a tragedy. They, she didn't want the kids seeing their father like this. So she's dealing with all these pressures, doesn't know how, what to do, doesn't know how to handle this. And these people are laughing at her. They're disrespecting her. They are putting her down. They are judging her. Why did they do it then? They normally can say, because we want justice for a crime. There is no crime. You are shaming the victims. Have lied about the victim. Letitia is a victimizer, and Dre is her victim, just like Marvon and Dre have been all of Letitia's life. I sat for months having a hope that Letitia wouldn't victimize Dre and Marvon in this situation. She failed it. She did victimize them. And luckily, Dre has reported her to the police and the FBI for it. Okay? Molly... And her friends, of them, the things they've done have been given to the popo and the authorities. We don't know if anything's going to happen from that. But one thing that's for sure, what I said yesterday, where you can show that they did these inappropriate terms of service breaking acts on their stream. And then they had a real, real life effect of crimes committed due to their incitement. Then they took the video from what they incited and re-monetized it on their streams, thus inciting more and had even more of an impact. And that itself can be shown with the videos, their original videos, videos they uploaded after, and the videos of these people going out and, and recording themselves, stalking Dre, trespassing, and doing these things to her. And that can hopefully get to Team YouTube soon with an actual person at Team YouTube looking at it. Please, Lord. That's going to be our goal. Now, I want to stall this. I don't want to play this video. I don't want to play the other videos that are out there. I don't want to go into this. Let's get this done. One thing, though, one thing, Chronicles of Olivia. Everybody was telling me that she found Gabby Petito's water bottle, so I did a little bit of research. I don't think she did. I have questions for Chronicles of Olivia. I have questions. I also, let's just pretend for a minute that she wasn't lying and that she didn't set up that scene because that's my opinion, that she lied, that she went and you know, grabbed either a water bottle that she knew wasn't Gabby's or she went and planted it and then pretended to find it. I don't know. I don't know what she did. I just have opinions. But my point is, I want to know, why did she break the chain of custody of the evidence? 
and ruin the evidence. If she really thought she had Gabby's water bottle, if she, if she really thought she did, why didn't she call the police right away and not touch it? Because she knew, she, she knows if she does touch it, the cops can't use it. Now, if you were stumbling upon a real water bottle that you thought was Gabby's, you wouldn't touch it. You'd call the cops and have them come get it. You would just stand by it and make sure nobody touched it until they got there because you would want the police to have it. But if you were faking it, if you were lying, if this was all publicity, if this was a stunt, I think what I would do is grab the water bottle so that you knew that the cops wouldn't study it if it was fake. You see what I'm saying? The only thing that I can fathom why somebody would mess with evidence that they, they themselves are convinced that it's really Gabby Petito's water bottle is if it was uh, they didn't want the cops to be able to use it because then if the cops test it, they're going to find out that it wasn't her water bottle. Then they're going to ask this person, why did you bring us this and say that it was the water bottle? So I think they set it up that way, but I don't know. What we're going to do is we want to get all the information about this water bottle. We want to react to the original videos of the water bottle before we look at Chronicles of Olivia's participation in some other things. Because Chronicles of Olivia, for some reason, has this habit of these really weird people that she all massively believes them, ignores all the red flags because obviously she's not educated enough to be able to identify the red flags and then brings them out as if they're witnesses or if they know what's going on and platforms them to spread misinformation lies and most of the time they end up being completely fake and it's why she deleted her last interview but she's been getting a lot of views on these because she pulls people into believing that these are actually people that have that knowledge or know what they're talking about and what is the big thing that busts Chronicles of Olivia and this other person who helped do that interview? The other guy, like Turkey Creek Dum Dum or whatever it is. The fact that the person that they were parading around as a witness to all of this stuff who had all this secret information was one of their friends. They didn't admit that in the interview. Right? So all of these things have been popped up. We want to get to the bottom of it. We want to figure it out. We want to know, is Chronicles of Olivia just really distracted and not paying attention or is she purposely doing this are they setting up these fake things are they going in and saying we need to get one of our buddies to come in and say that they know this stuff and then we'll put it out there as if this person just came to us or are people fooling them are they so bad at this are they so dumb i i mean i'm trying not to think that they're so dumb that they would believe this garbage but then they are the ones that back it if i'm to think that they're smart to any degree if they have knowledge of true crime, police procedure, to any degree, then I have to believe that they helped fake this because if they were fooled into really thinking these interviewees knew what they were talking about, they'd have to be out of their minds. They'd, I, how does anybody get fooled by that? Either way, let's get into it. Let's start right here with Forgotten Whispers. Take a listen. I had a lot of followers because she did makeup and uh, she had an MLM thing where she would sell some crappy jewelry. And, you know, why didn't you expose the, the MLN if you, wait, MLN, MLM, mar multi-level marketing. Hey, why didn't you expose it then? And she was at the top of her game. She used to do her makeup very well. And one of the most endearing qualities that she had was... Uh, Ad, why are you talking in past tense? She's still alive. Uh, she was very funny. She was... She is very funny. Not was. Was captivating at one time. She, she is captivating. What, why are you acting like she all of a sudden died? And that she isn't around anymore? She, she could come back at any time. She's dealing with a tragedy. She is the victim of a tragedy. So because she is actually a good, a good wife and a good mother, she took time to pay attention to this tragedy. She didn't die. She didn't leave. She didn't fly away. She was a very interesting, funny young girl who 
drew in a pretty big audience. And and you know what she did? She drew in that audience by actually doing something, giving content. You can talk all the smack you want about her. You don't do content. You don't actually do anything. You wing it. You're just sitting there. You're literally just sitting there. Um, I'm going to describe Dre, and then I'm going to insult her while I watch her video, uh, and then I'm going to chew really loud while I eat this food. You don't do content. You just act a fool. You just embarrass yourself on screen and hope that people will follow you and encourage and you. And she married. And exactly, justice for Dre. Every time anyone lies, anytime anyone attacks her, anytime anyone shits on her, it's hashtag justice for Dre. I read a former Marine uh, named Arvon McCray. And what they did was... Uh... Justin, you know what he did? He lied about Dre today or yesterday in a stream. He said that Dre forced Marvon out of the military. Marvon was medically discharged for a knee injury. And he said that Dre was such a bad wife and such a bad person that, that Dre forced Marvon out of the military. How do you force a person out? Do you realize if you don't like if you don't have MRIs, if you can't prove that you're injured, they're not going to medically discharge you. When you get medically discharged, they pay you every month for the rest of your life. You have you can't fake it unless you you pretend to have a mental breakdown or something. Right? But it was physical for Marvon just like it was physical my injuries that got me out. So I don't know why Justin and these other people have, they sit up there. Now, again, I, I said this in the member stream earlier, Heidi, I don't know if it was one of our Heidi's because we have a couple that watch us or if it was a Heidi from the community, goes into, into Justin, Justin's uh, live chat and she says, you are lying and running a narrative for your own gain. Tell the truth. And you know what Justin does? Justin won't talk to me. Molly won't talk to me. None of them will talk to me. They won't answer our questions. We haven't even told them they have to go on stream with us. Nonsense has a list of questions that I back that they that want that she wants Molly, Justin, and them to answer, right? And instead of answering the questions, instead of coming on stream and answering the questions, he takes a viewer who has said the truth in his chat and tries to get them to come up on his stream and argue with them on his own stream. He knows that this person won't come up because this person isn't a person who goes on streams. They obviously don't want their identity out there. They don't want to be identified. They know you guys are doxers. So, of course, knowing that Justin and Molly and LB and all of them are okay with all this doxing happening and supports it and helps Molly do it and all the shit they do, he knows that if he challenges them to come on the stream, they're most likely not so they don't get doxed. Right? But he was lying. He was lying constantly. He was trying to frame Dre as the most like controlling evil wife or, or girlfriend that ever existed and all this garbage. And again, if you want to say that, you need to back it up with some proof. So Justin tried to get froggy and back it up by saying that I do have proof. Dre made him leave the military. Made him. Made him. She can't make him. Even if Dre was trying to talk him into leaving, right? Marvon, when he goes and sits down in front of the medical board, when he sits down in front of his command, Dre's not there. She doesn't get to influence it. He could just look right at him and say, I want to stay. If he was given that option, which I don't believe he was. Personally, I don't believe he was because they typically will not put you out for a knee injury unless it's really bad. Anyway. I'm just trying to say they're lying still. They sold some jewelry online and they cooked together and they... Nonsense has the most exposing video of Molly Go Lightly. And I think one of the clips are in this video from Forgotten Whispers. Shout out Forgotten Whispers for clipping this together. Molly has... Uh, Nonsense has one of the most exposing videos on Molly. Molly is literally at the very, very, very beginning... I'm talking, she even has the date, and it was super early. It was right when all this shit happened, right at the very beginning. Molly said, you know what you can do, Dre? You know what you can do for Miss Letitia? You can pay her $1,000 right now. And she starts, like, berating Dre 
about how Dre needs to pay Letitia $1,000 right now. Because it was always about money. Since the very beginning, Molly was trying to get Dre to give Letitia money. And hated Dre. And when Dre ignored Molly and ignored Letitia and ignored all these disrespectful, monstrous, nasty people. Oh, before I say this, guess what else Molly did? She goes, you can give Letitia $1,000 so she can fly down and see Marvon. And when she does, I'm going to fly with her. And I'm going to stay in the hotel with her. And I'm going to drive her around. And I'm going to feed her and take her out to eat. And then, and she says all this, and then I'm going to take her to the hospital and wait outside for Letitia to go in and see Marvon. And you know Molly wouldn't wait outside at the damn hospital. You know she wouldn't. And the fact of the matter is, like, I love what Nonsense is doing. She's going back in time to when Molly and Justin and LB... And I want to do this. So if you've got some video clips of them very early on, if we can find some video clips of them early on, get them into my mods. Mods, get them to the bottom of general chat. Because I would love to pull up. I would love to pull up videos of Molly and Justin and LB just like Nonsense did from early on. Because when you listen, now that you've got all the facts of the actual case, okay, you've got all all the, all the months of us, Nonsense, myself, others, Kathy, uh, Forgotten Whispers, Kool-Aid, uh, Heels in the Air, everybody out there, uh, Menace to Sobriety, putting out for months the truth about Dre's content and what really happened before this happened. So you've got the past. You can see it with your own eyes. Then you have this police report, which tells us exactly what happened at the most internal level when they were investigating this stuff. So we have the truth of what really happened. And when you go back and listen to what these people said and did then, they were wrong and they lied every fucking sentence that came out of their mouth. It is so embarrassing for them to listen to the things they were saying and doing back then towards Dre and Marvon. I'm going to play some clips for you. Oh my God, is it embarrassing for Molly. Is it embarrassing for Leslie and Justin and Letitia most of all? So embarrassing, right? Molly led this charge of Letitia being the mother and Dre should respect her. And, and Molly had people telling her that Letitia was never in his life, had stolen from them, had all these charges for her, whatever she did involving money, getting in trouble for stealing money and shit like this all the time in her life, writing bad checks or whatever it was. And, and yet, Molly want, didn't want to be wrong because she didn't want Dre and she didn't want these other people to have anything up on her. So she just started lying her ass off and, and trying to throw money by lying at Letitia. So she ended up giving Letitia all this money just to try to give a middle finger to Dre. And, it, it, and what's going to end up happening is Letitia's going to be the one getting the middle finger. She's already broke. Letitia's been broke for a minute. I don't know how you spend that much money in a few months, but she managed to. And, you know, in the end of all this, uh, you know, with Dre, actually, Dre, we don't know how much Dre gave to the FBI and to the police about Molly or Justin or the others. We know she gave stuff. We just don't know how much. But I'll tell you one thing. After reading that report, you find out that she was giving everything Letitia was doing, which included a lot of Molly and a lot of Justin and a lot of LB. Everything Letitia was doing, they gave to the FBI. They, they pushed for criminal charges against Letitia. So when people go out there and say that Letitia is having this criminal investigation and they, and they try to reference the reports that were filed, it's not even just the reports that were filed. If, if a victim, if someone going through a tragedy like this contacts the FBI and says, people are literally out there making money off of my tragedy, lying about it, who shouldn't be touching any money, making money off of this veteran's medical condition in the hospital dying, and they're inappropriately, fraudulently making money this way. Are we really going to think that there's not going to be an investigation? So it's like, we know there was already going to be an investigation because multiple people went and filed reports. Many people did, not just one like a lot of people think. Multiple people filed reports. But if you look at the fact that Dre was pressuring the, the authorities, I mean, it's no wonder Letitia's been laying low. Probably got a phone call, and that's when she started laying low, Oh, I bet you there's a reason she siphoned that money out and went and laid low because she probably got some phone calls. She probably got some shit. Had a lot of fun. Was the girl funny? Absolutely. I could totally see.
what the what is this you know i think we watched a little bit of this yesterday or something but what is this what is molly doing here is she trying to talk positive about dre because she she realizes oh my god dre's been cleared if i don't get on my channel and start saying some almost positive things about her i'm gonna look real bad because right after she does this she starts attacking her again. where this chick was going in true Molly style, she gets into her typical trash and shit talking. It only took minutes. Forgotten whispers. It only took minutes. Literal minutes. Oh, nothing embarrasses them. But they were so incredibly wrong that it is just indicative of how good they are at true crime. And reporting. And YouTube. And reality itself. LB, Justin, Letitia, and Molly have shown everybody that they are inept. They are incapable. They're incapable of thinking, of basic thinking, of basic thought, logic. They can't even look out there and put the truth together when they have it right in front of them. I mean, damn. Dre McCray would leave her house to go to Walmart. Now listen to this. Dre's not allowed... After listening to her doctors, listening to her doctors, listening to the advice that she was given, and listen and doing what she's supposed to do, and she's not allowed to go to Walmart, according to Molly. Leaving teenage kids at the house with their dad, no, when they know how to handle if he has a seizure, they know how to call 911 if he does, they know how to give him assistance if it's minor, they know what to do, it's their father. And somehow, she twists Stray going and getting food at Walmart for a few minutes into Dre being the worst mother in the world. It's just crazy, but take a listen. Nuts. Walmart and get limes, and she would leave her kids in a house. She would leave her kids in a house. How many times have you left your kid in the house? You're not even doing anything important. You're going around faking shit. You're going around lying and attacking people, going crazy in hotel rooms. Dre is way... This is the thing, guys. I was saying this, I think, to Nate. Excuse me. I ate some tacos before the stream. <laughs> I didn't want to molly and, and eat it in front of you and go crunch, 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 crunch. If I have to compare Dre McRae in any respect to any of them, Molly, Betty, Justin, LB, Letitia. In fact, let's leave Letitia out for a second because she's in a different category. But if I have to compare Dre to these people, Dre is leagues, millions of times a better person in every respect than they are. In every respect. When it comes to how she takes care of her kids, when it comes to how she was uh, living with her husband, when it comes to the, the bills, the money, when it comes to her business, when it comes to the way she acted, when it comes to... She's positive. She's a positive force to the people around her in her life. She went around being positive to people. I watched it with my own eyes. Oh, maybe she was turning the camera off and being nasty as hell all the time. Maybe. And yes, yeah, she messed up. But the majority of Dre was being a positive force when she bumped into strangers, when she bumped into other people, she was like every other kind, normal person that you know. Got me? Molly, on the other hand, LB and Justin, on the other hand, are literally insane. They are psychopaths going around living like the worst people out there. And for some reason, these horrible people try to pick on someone because their husband committed suicide. I can't stress how bad this is for LB, Justin, and Molly. I cannot stress how much this is going to backfire on them. But if I compare Dre to Letitia, you don't want me to. You don't want me to. I, if I, every nice thing, every good thing that I would say about Dre would just make Letitia look worse and worse and worse and worse. Letitia is a miserable human being. A miserable human being. So it makes perfect sense why Molly was so drawn to Letitia. You can't draw as a horrible, disgusting individual. If you try to buddy up with a good person, they're not going to. They're going to cut. They're going to look. Uh, Dre would have cut anyone that even slightly acts like Molly or LB or Justin out of her life in the snap of a finger. It's a fact. But in or so in order for 
these people to have anyone related to the story that they could link with, they had to pick someone who has a reputation of being a user, a manipulator, a liar, and a taker. Someone who wants to use everybody in their life, be negative all the time. They all have this in common, right? They all have this kind of like negativity aspect of themselves in common. While her children watched, three of them, two girls, preteens, and little Raza. Okay, you are an idiot. I'm sorry, I typically don't do that, but I'm going to do it this time. You're a complete idiot. You just said that the two teenagers and the baby had to watch Marvon. You're out of your mind. Dre left Marvon with the two teenagers who watched Marvon and the baby. Marvon is an adult. He wasn't seizuring all the time. When he wasn't seizuring, he was just an adult at the house. Okay, there's nothing wrong with Dre leaving the house. You leave your home all the damn time. Why can't Dre leave hers? Because her husband has seizures. What? Because he has a medical... So now you're shaming Dre over Marvon's medical disorder. The choices she makes in life are scrutinized now. Because she, if she leaves the house, we get to shit on her for it. What? How is she supposed to exist? He's a, we have hours upon hours of videos of Marvon. And I mean hours and hours and hours not having a seizure. He didn't have a seizure the majority of the time. Right? So is it really bad that she went to the fucking store to get food for dinner? I just can't fathom this woman. And then on top of that to pretend that, that Dre was leaving a a one-year-old or a two-year-old in diapers to watch their father. What? Now, she's admitting that the Marvon is at the house. Marvon is home. If a seizure happens, the teenager calls Dre. She's minutes away at the store, and she can rush home. What is the issue? Watching him. J-Dub says Molly left Jake with Princess Molly, and he's an alcoholic. Is that okay? No. I mean, I don't even know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. But who knows? Yeah, but Molly is way worse than Dre. How do these people act like this, man? It's almost like a murderer getting up on a stream. He just got out of prison. He just served 30 years, and he starts telling, he starts judging people for how they're living their life and shit. It's like, dude, you just got out of prison for murdering somebody. You just killed somebody and took their life. How are you going to get up there and give advice or talk like this? You know, you'd be like, what? And now we got Miss Molly here, one of the most disgusting human beings in the world, just sitting here. I don't even get it. Why, why is she picking Andre for these insignificant false things? How is her audience this brain dead to listen to this and actually... Be like, yeah, Molly, I can't believe Dre left the house to go get stuff for dinner with an adult Marvon, two teenagers home. I can't believe Dre is so irresponsible. She's got two teenagers and an adult at the house. She is irresponsible for going to the store. It literally isn't true. <laughs> you know, when I say that these people have the worst takes ever, that they just, you got to ask yourself, why does she say this when it's so utterly false? Because she has no content. She doesn't know what to say. She starts her stream and says, I have to go say something. I'm broke. I need money. It has to be about Dre. It has to be negative. And she can't, after Dre's been cleared, she can't find anything to, to, to say now. And so she's trying to pick at things that she thinks she can pick at after Dre's been cleared about everything, and she's sitting here, like, literally. So now, if we look at what Molly is saying, every adult that goes to the grocery store is a horrible adult. What? Have seizures. Multiple seizures. This is her, guys. Multiple seizures? No. No, Dre never left the house while Marvon was either having a seizure or likely to have a seizure. Now, she also said this. I don't know if you're going to hear this clip. I saw it all nonsense. Molly says, did you know that Dre gave Adivan 
a benzo under Marvon's tongue. Benzos are anti-seizure medications. They work as anti-seizure medications. They work on a GABA. The GABA, the GABA protein or the GABA thingy in your brain, I don't know if it's a hormone or a protein. And benzos produce extra GABA to relax you. It's why it affects your memory and shit like that. And she's literally insulting Dre, framing it as bad that Dre did what her doctor said and put these drops under his tongue. Why did, why did Marvon have Ativan in drop form? Because the drops go through your, uh, sublingually through your tongue and enter your body immediately so that it can aid him during a seizure. Because when you're having a seizure, you can't swallow a pill. They don't want to give it to him by injection. They don't want to have her having needles around. And when you can give sublingual or you can give the drops to him and it have the same effect as the needle. So they give her those. I don't know how that's a bad thing. I don't know how Molly frames that as an insult. She's literally doing what the doctors say to help him. She, you know, when people have seizures, chronic seizures, you don't call 911 for every seizure. But Molly can't study it. She can't read. She can't think enough to go actually look at the proper procedure. Now, I'm not saying every person who has seizures sometimes you do have to call 911 when people there's different kinds of seizures different levels of seizures different kinds of medication different standards different procedures for the different seizures depending on how they you get what i'm saying dre and the police and the popo went and talked to the doctor looked at the medical records judged whether dre did anything wrong and, and found out that she was acting on doctor's orders the whole time. I still will criticize Dre and Marvon for going to Mexico that time, but I'm not going to bring that up right now. But again, if Marvon, as an adult, willingly chose to go with her and do it with her, then it's on both of them, not just Dre. And because I'm not like Molly, I'm not going to shit talk Marvon right now. I'm going to skip talking about that. This is when they first got to her, one officer. Now, don't worry, because Forgotten Whispers does take out the body cam footage when it needs to be taken out, okay? So, you don't have to worry. You're going to notice that there's not a lot of body cam shown. Forgotten Whispers zooms in on Molly and takes out the body cam and blurs it and all this stuff. So, I've already went through it. Makeup on, she pulls a couple weeks. He hasn't been in a good mental place. Pause. She got makeup on. She paused. She thought of what she was going to say. Listen to this vile, disgusting, terms of service breaking human being. There is no crime here, it is a suicide. And she's insulting the victim of the suicide because she doesn't like the victim and wants to harass her. Jesus Christ. When can this be over? When can this arc, when can this story arc be over so we can move on? And instead... Justice for Dre, Molly. You have victimized Dre. You are victimizing Dre in this video J dre needs justice justice for dre to start would be you justin and lb losing their youtube channels because it would be fair you have broken terms of service by targeting a suicide victim and a family that, that are the victims of suicide and harassing attacking lying and berating them you have broken the misinformation policy of youtube you have broken the clickbait policy, the, the, the um, lying or misinforming for financial gain policy. And yes, that is a policy. Go to the YouTube blog and read about it. You've broken the harassment policy, the community guidelines, uh, the policy about tragedies. There are specific terms of service in relation to tragedies. And if you lie, spread misinformation, or you can't, you're not even allowed to financially gain by a tragedy you can't financially gain by that tragedy you and molly you and lb and justin did this and on top of all of it you are harassing dre lying on dre and you showed 
Mar you showed Marvon on the stretcher. You played audio of him being resuscitated. All of these things, the justice for Dre would be you, LB, and Justin actually getting strikes. But again, YouTube can't strike this because it's such a massive terms of service bio. They would need to ban you. In the very least, you should have strikes on all of your channels and all of you lose your partnerships because the partnership agreement with YouTube is very much stricter than the terms of service of YouTube. And you've broken those terms of services to the point that you should be banned. But if you look at her partnership, you should have lost your partnership long ago. I don't know how you still have the ability for super chats or memberships. Steven Crowder made fun of a guy and lost his, right? Leafy lost his whole channel for making fun of another YouTuber. It, they both did it in pretty serious ways according to YouTube. I disagree when it comes to Leafy. Either way though, they actually, with millions of followers and what the biggest, Crowder is the biggest live streamer in his area on YouTube, making the most money for himself and YouTube in the area. And both of them lost monetization. Leafy lost his channel. You, on the other hand, barely bring in any money comparatively, and you can break terms of service and keep your partnership. Honestly, Molly, you know that YouTube just hasn't seen you yet. YouTube doesn't know you're doing this. Of saying I walked out and I found my husband hanging from the... Mm. You're mad at Dre for finding her husband. This is why you need to be banned. You are mad at Dre. She didn't do it. She had nothing to do with it. The police have confirmed this. I don't need to go into why or I'll talk for 10 minutes. If you want to listen to me rant about Dre being innocent, watch the last stream I did last night. And you are mad at Dre for finding her husband. She did not do it. She is not the perpetrator. She is a victim. Why are you angry at this victim for being victimized? Why are you angry at her for her becoming a victim? Why? Justice for Dre. Justice for Dre. A YouTuber played Dre, an innocent victim, walking in her backyard and finding her husband hanging. And trying, she went and immediately tried to help him. And Molly is yelling at her, flipping out on her, and making fun of her, putting her down, and insinuating she did something wrong. This justice for Dre would be you losing your channel. This clip alone, right here. Justice for Dre, the right thing to do to address the terms of service violation is to have your channel deleted. I'm saying all of this so that once you're deleted, you don't act surprised. Once you finally get YouTube going in and seeing all of this and they ban you, you won't be surprised because we've already broke down what's going to happen and why. You, your fault. You chose to do this. You chose to attack her. You chose to treat her this way. You chose to attack the victim. You are a berating a victim. Right? My husband's in a different mental state. Keep going, girl. He was. She's telling the truth. She's telling the truth, Molly. They all kept attacking the police investigation, but they didn't respond to a freaking crime scene. They attended a medical call. Exactly. Exactly. That's how dumb they are. They literally, LB thinks that the police officers and the EMT showing up are the CSI team. And people listen to these people talk about true crime. To give commentary on true crime. Someone, please tell me how. Help me. The, the, the blind, the dumb leading the blind. It's the dumb leading the blind. Molly just knows if she can make her chat angry at someone, she can whip them into a frenzy, and then they open their super hats to a common cause. Their super chats, you're correct. Exactly. She's, she's putting the act on that she puts on every time she goes live. So she isn't doing content. She's doing her grift. 
content would be done with actual points, actual jokes, actual skits, actual discussion, actual logic, actual work to make the video. Prep it, prepare it, and go and, go and do it. It's not easy going live and being able to carry the points you're making and back them up and show them throughout long periods of time correctly. If you aren't doing it thoroughly, if you aren't doing it to a high amount of work, you're going to end up doing what Molly's doing, putting the act on that you're doing content, and you're going to slip up, and you're going to inappropriately apply your grift to things that aren't appropriate. And that's what she's doing. Great point. Jessica says, Inspector Molly McNuggets is on the case. Don't worry, everyone. That's right. Da-da-da-da-da. Inspector Molly. Da-da-da-da-da. And LB. Jaundice Justin. Da-da-da-da-da. Solving the case. Come on. Show us. Kelly says, Molly's minions are coming after me again. I think because the truth has come out about this case and they need to blame everybody except Molly and Justin. Oh, sure. Molly's minions are literally doing damage control. And they're doing damage control because they know Molly is exposed. She's done. It's over. Back when she made fun of that of the Watts case or the Wells case, the Watts or Wells, I always say the wrong one. Shannon Watts. I said the right one this time. When she made fun of that case, she, she had to leave YouTube for almost eight months. She couldn't even stream without people just going in and tearing her apart. And she just laid everything down and chilled. That's going to happen again. As this all spreads out, as people find out what really happened, no matter how hard Molly's minions work, the truth is out. Many channels have been talking about this. I'm going to show you in a minute. Many more channels have talked about this, and all of them are mad at Molly. And Justin. And LB. The truth is starting to ricochet around out there. I'm really happy with down the rabbit hole, the others out there that have gone out and spread it around. I'm really happy with the clip channels, Forgotten Whispers, Cheesy. I'm, I'm happy with Heels in the Air, Kathy P. Everybody's done so great. Wasn't for the community banding together and doing this in the face of knowing that they could be targeted and doxxed and attacked by these vicious people trying to protect their bag. It's all for that bag. That bag. These desperate grifters, scammers, looked at Dre's bag, her bag of money, her wallet, her purse. They said, I want that bag. I'm going to get me that bag. I got to turn her into the person who did this to Marvon, and I can get that money. I can get those subs. They deserve to be banned for it. The truth is out now. We knew it the whole time, but we didn't have a police report literally proving us all right until two days ago. And that really changes the mind of people out there who think Molly might not. Well, she might be doing it, but she might not. Okay, now that this police report says it, they know that Molly and Letitia and LB and Justin sat down, created a plot to do this to Dre, and then did it. And they all backed each other up so they could spread it and make money off of it and get views from it. They did that on purpose. In order, it's all about that bag. And we just want hashtag justice for Dre. That's right. Justice for Dre. Molly gets so mad when people, when she sees hashtag justice for Dre, Molly flips out. Because she knows that she's the perpetrator with Justin and LB and Letitia. And that for once, you know how many times they've went around screaming justice for someone and never gotten justice? They know that for the first time, a justice for hashtag is actually going to get justice. Dre is going to get justice. Justice for Dre can happen unlike there. I've already told you, we know how to get justice for Dre. It's for Team YouTube and YouTube to go in and judge these channels and what they've done. We're going to make sure that we get justice for Dre. She gets angry. She knows you're calling her the victimizer. Justin and LB hate it because they know when they see 
hashtag justice for Dre, it's calling them the victimizer. Because they are. They know they are. Tell us. Tell us. Go ahead. So you want her to lie about Marvon's mental state getting worse the last few weeks. You want her to lie is what you're saying, Molly. Oh, so I'm Jerry McCormick. You're mocking. See this right here? Hashtag justice for Dre. You need to be banned because of this. You are making fun of this woman telling the EMTs and police about her sick, mentally ill husband's medical disorder and how it's gotten worse lately, leading to his suicide attempt. And you just mocked her. Do you not think that that's against terms of service? If you read terms of service, you can get in trouble for calling someone an, an insult if you use certain insults. You can get in trouble for many things that, are, that seem inconsequential. And you can get in trouble for attacking victims like this. If you attack an R victim, if you attack an a, a murmur victim, if you attack a suicide victim, you can be banned for this. Molly, I don't know if you're crazy or just out of your mind or what, but you are attacking a suicide victim, mocking and insulting them for the tragedy they're experiencing. That is factual. You can't argue your way out of this. Do I need to explain it more? Do I need to explain it again? I didn't attack Dre. Yes, you did. You can't say that you didn't attack Dre because you've done it a hundred times in one video in 20 minutes. You weren't thinking. There is no murmurer here. Dre is the victim. I have seen people banned from YouTube for attacking our victims and making fun of them. I've seen people banned for doing many things like this. A lot of them were incels. A lot of them were our apologists who supported an arpist. But this has happened many times. Why does Molly think that her doing this isn't bannable? I, I'm, I'm, I'm mind boggled if she thinks it isn't. Kirk says, in my country, you'd get a jail sentence. You can get that here. Ray has to go to the FBI and the police. Oh, wait. According to the police report, she already did. Maybe that is why Molly deleted all of her Dre videos. You know Molly deleted every one of her Dre videos? When that police report hit the community? Every one, three point some million views deleted off Molly's channel. All of her Dre videos gone in the snap of a finger. Damage control. Damage control. Hashtag justice for Dre, Molly. How do you get justice for a person who is a suicide victim? A victim of a suicide. How do you get justice for them against the person who used YouTube, make fun of them, lie about them, attack them, put them down for being a victim of suicide, they get their channel banned. Yes. I listen, if you're going to come here to correct me, you can get lost. Yeah, because people were going into your chat and telling you, Dre is the victim. Here is a police report proving it. Multiple agencies cleared her. Did she say, oh my God, I'm sorry, Dre. I would never want to treat a victim like this. I was treating you like this because I thought you did it. I was treating you like this because I thought you X, Y, Z. Now that I have all these reports that say you've been cleared over and over and over multiple times, I'm going to apologize to you. No, she banned them and kept attacking Dre more. If you had somebody in that chat who tried to correct Molly, she would just ban them and then attack Dre even worse. That is factual. Hashtag justice for Dre. I think Walter made her do it because of two things. The investigation on her and LB and the college apps, they look at social media. You know, uh, Walter... I've got, you know, there's this thing. Real soon, we're going to do some content, and it's going to be called Where's Walter? Because, you know, where is Walter? 
he seems to kind of be like, is, is Walter watching her do this? Is he helping her do this? Is Walter in on this? Is he not? Is he tell her to stop? Why doesn't he? Where is Walter? Where's Walter? He's in this picture. He's the one wearing a striped shirt. You got to find him. You got to look hard, but you will find him. Here's the thing about Walter. Whenever Molly is doxing somebody, if you look real close, you're going to find Walter. Just like in these pictures. Here's the thing. When she's attacking Dre, if you look real close, you're going to notice, oh, look, Walter's right over there listening, helping. Why isn't Walter stopping her? I mean, if you are sitting next to her, encouraging her, and you're not stopping her, wouldn't you be helping her? Isn't that the definition of helping somebody? Accomplice? Or at least, aren't you, uh, aren't you at least culpable? Where's Walter? Where is Walter? Hmm. We're going to have to look at these pictures, you know? Here's a good one. We're going to have to look at these pictures... Where's Walter? We need to find Walter. We need to find Walter. Where? Walter. He's in there somewhere. Safari says, I've heard him three times to get her off or shut it down, and she doesn't. See? Where's Walter? And what is his role? Only way you're going to find Walter is to go into Molly's worst behavior and look real close. Find him. All right, get out. If you want to be smart in the mouth at all. Well, then you need to get out of YouTube because you're being smart in the mouth. You need to get off. At least you agree that if you're going to be, if you're going to lie, if you're going to be smart in the mouth, as you say, then you need to go. So you do need to go off YouTube. Hashtag justice for Dre. We need to start a justice for movement. It needs to be bigger than their justice for insert all of their justice movements. We need to do this by sharing, supporting each other, getting it out on social media, getting it out there in the comments section, getting it out there in the live chat, getting it out there into the world. Justice for Dre against her victimizers, LB, Justin for all, Molly Golightly, and Letitia Bias. There will be no timing out. You just get banned forever. Yep, you just get banned forever if you tell the truth. Because you, you, if if you tell the truth in her chat, then it's going to ruin her lies. If you bring up the police report, bring up that Dre's been cleared, then it actually ruins her lies. Hashtag justice for Dre. Thank you. I'm on your TV, huh? Ever. I've never, ever said that she killed her husband. See, and now she lies. Molly is lying about saying she killed her husband because Molly knows that that is accusing Dre of a crime that she could be sued for. Hashtag justice for Dre is not just Molly being banned, Justin and LB being banned. It is all three of them plus Letitia Bias being sued for an incredibly large amount of money. Never. I think she went overboard. Justin just lied for Molly. He also can't. Justin had been trying really hard for a few months to distance himself from Molly so that when the shit hit the fan, he could keep his channel. Thank you, Justin, for making sure that we know you're included in hashtag justice for Dre. With a stupid fucking diet. Being a vegan is a stupid effing diet. I think YouTube does need to listen to you doing all of this because they'd have problems. You realize a lot of those moderators for YouTube are vegans, Molly. Went a little fucking nuts. So, so Marvon looked emaciated. But if you look at any of the videos on missing puzzle pieces, it's the exact opposite, which those videos are from Dre's Facebook, the history of what happened. Justin is lying. Justin needs to be included. He can't get away from justice for Dre. Neither can Molly. Emaciated. He was emaciated, Marissa. Lying, Justin. You're lying. You have nothing. This is Molly going after Dre. This is Kathy P. 
Kathy, I hope you're in here. I don't know if you are. Excellent job. Excellent job. I'm sorry I don't shout you out enough, Kathy. Subscribe to Kathy Peace Channel. Mods, share Kathy Peace Channel. Kathy has been killing it. I feel bad. I've just been busy. Should have been shouting her out more. Get that channel and make sure every 5-10 minutes, share her channel in Pray. the chat. She doesn't attack other people. Listen to her. Dre doesn't attack other people. Marvon's not a man, a man theated. And if Marvon, hey, Justin, if Marvon is a man -themated, then why is it that Molly was mad at Dre for telling the police and the, and the uh, um, EMTs that he was um, exactly that? You got mad at Dre and said she was a liar when she said it, but when Justin says it, you don't say anything. She never said that Dre killed her husband. Listen to her. Oh, no, she did. Yeah, right here. This is actual. This is from their live. The yeah, it is. Kathy's right. So, so she, Molly just said, I never said that I, I never said that Dre killed her husband. Take a listen to what Molly actually said. They did. And I have a clip of Molly and just Justin where Molly says it. Kathy P. Watch your stuff. This is her going after Dre's looks. Next is just Molly and Justin. And this is not edited. This is right off of her own live, their own lives, where I got it from Molly and Justin. I watched it and recorded it. I watched it too. Everyone in my chat watched it. Molly just lied to everybody. She lied the whole time she attacked Dre. Hashtag justice for Dre. And it was one of my first videos. My editing still sucks, and it was really bad. Safari says, you know, on a live, Justin actually said that he sells that Kratom and has tried it also. Exactly, because a Kratom is a, is a dietary supplement. They sell it all over the place. So when these guys sit here and act like Dre poisoned Marvon, Marvon took Kratom every day. He chose it. He's an adult. Dre did too, but so did he. They never gave it to the kids. That is a complete lie. She gave the kids, uh, I don't want to say it because I'll get it wrong, but what she gave the kids were dietary supplements approved by the FDA. People all over the world give the same thing to their kids. They lied. Hashtag justice for Dre. Then, so you know I couldn't have edited it. I wouldn't even. If you're another creator, and you upload videos, and it happens to be Molly and Justin, or Molly or whoever talking about Dre, make sure you put hashtag justice for Dre in the description, title, tags, wherever you can, wherever you want. I'd put it on the damn screen. Put it on aisle. Going, girls. You are killing that man. So there's one example. We've seen many examples of Molly yelling at Dre that she's killing Marvon. Here's a proof of it. And you're rolling. You love it. You love the attention you are getting. No, you do. You're talking about yourself. Talking about yourself, Molly. You're loving the attention you're getting for defaming and slandering Dre. Hashtag justice for Dre. This man is dead. You've heard him. You've killed him. Just said this man is dead. You've hurt him. You've killed him. So you didn't just say it once. In single clips, you said it multiple times. Why did you lie a couple days ago to your audience? Why did Justin lie for you when he's heard you say it many times? Dre didn't look like she had a bead of sweat on her after doing CPR. She didn't look like she had a bead of sweat on her after doing CPR. Even though, when she was doing CPR, and then later when she's standing over there, time has passed. Time has passed. Also, we have no clue what temperature it was. We have no clue if Dre was even winded by it. Because you do it for a, a, a you could probably do CPR for a good minute or two without even starting to sweat or breathe heavy. If you are in shape, one of their biggest complaints about Dre and Marvon is that they were taking being in shape too seriously. They were eating too healthy. They were working out and, and doing things too much. Losing too much weight, becoming too tone. Her, her robe 
was quite, she looked like Blanche from the Golden Girls. What do you look like? Have you ever looked in the mirror? I've never been able to get this about people. You get these people out there on Twitter and social media that go around insulting people's looks and putting them down for how they look and act. They are always extremely nasty people inside and out. Every single one of the people that always focus. I'm not talking about when you make a little joke. I'm talking when you get real nasty and you're doing all this stuff to just insult them. They're always the ugliest people on the inside and out. And I'm sorry, Molly. You, like, you do realize that, that if you put your picture next to Dre's picture, what is that why you do this? Because she actually looks better than you? Is that why you do this to her? Because you're jealous of her looks? Because you, you realize what hypocrisy is, right? Hypocrisy is you invalidating your opinion. You don't understand. So it'd be like me lying. Hypocrisy is a lie. It'd be like me saying, those people who drink beer are the worst people in America and I hate them while I'm sitting here smoking crack. That beer is unhealthy for you while I'm sitting here smoking heroin, <laughs> right? That weed is horrible for your health while I'm sitting here smoking meth. Y you, are in, you are lying about your opinion when you're being hypocritical, right? Not to mention. Oh, look, let's move up. The knife, wielding the knife. Oh, I'm surrounded by correct. You're so salty. You are so salty over Dre. Like right here. I'm Dre McRae. When she did that part of her business, she got more views, more money, more clicks, more attention, more success than you've been able to get attacking her the whole time. Just off of one little thing she did. And that has to feel so good for Dre to know that her haters are this salty. This is one of the saltiest, most jealous clips of Molly out there talking about Dre. Just listen to how crazy she gets talking about one of Dre's bits. It's a bit. It is a bit she uses. Slay with Dre, right? You know the term slaying where you go out and you slay at life and you own life and you succeed and all this stuff, right? So Dre, using that slogan, got a knife and included it into her brand. And Molly is so jealous that Dre actually had a brand, actually had success, actually had viewers and followers. Listen to the way she gets salty. She is oozing salt out of her pores. Listen. The knife, wielding the knife. Oh, I'm surrounded by correct. Like, she had a lot of different colorful personalities coming. Those weren't colorful personalities coming out of her. It was her brand. It was her presence on social media. This was her part of her act. It's part of her age. You know, you're Molly Go Lightly. You're someone who wishes that it was 1983 again so that you could actually be young again, right? That, that's you, right? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a spring chicken, so I'm not making fun of her. That's her act. She's constantly trying to imagine she's back in the 80s or 90s. And her, the name of Molly Go Lightly is actually from an 80s movie. Or was it, an, was it an early 90s or a late 80s movie? And 90s? It was early 90s. And Molly's brand is sitting there wishing that she could redo her life, not steal money from hookers, not go around, you know, being a throwaway sexual toy to... The bouncers at the Backstreet Boys concert, you know, uh, she, all these things, Molly, is about regret. It's about negativity. It's about wishing she was popular and successful. Dre, on the other hand, actually was popular and successful. And she didn't have to do it by lying about another influencer, right? Coming out of that mouth. <laughs> well. Yeah, and everybody loved it. Everybody loved it. That's why she got so many subscribers and followers, and that's why she got so much money. Why are you so jealous of it? Why don't you do it too? If you're just as good as Dre, why don't you earn yourself some followers? If you're just as good as Dre, why don't you get yourself some views? Why don't you actually do something?
that doesn't involve you lying and victimizing this family during a tragedy to, to exploit it for cash. Hashtag justice for Dre. Oh, 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 oh. oh it was true. I have to write my correct. Hold on. Yeah, and look at Justin. Justin, you don't even want me to start on you. You don't even want you. You just did it. You just got all salty and jelly over Dre here. Sit, you know, Justin, when he got mad today, he said, "You want to sit in my chat and be a little keyboard warrior, or do you want to jump up here and correct me?" I'll do it for her. I'm doing it right now for her. Okay. And how is this not YouTube being little salty keyboard warriors towards Dre? You guys are hypocritical every time you open your mouths. But she also didn't say, thank God. She also didn't say, hurry. You, you two are going to talk about God when you're sending yourselves straight to hell? Are you kidding? I mean, you have to be joking. You have to be joking. You guys are the opposite of any godly person. You guys are literally people who cause... What do, you, what do you say? They cause more, they, they exploit and cause more tragedy in a person's worst time of their life to try to make a dollar. You're literally making blood money. You're literally making blood money. Like I'm chasing an ambulance. When I catch up to the ambulance, instead of me trying to take pictures of it for the paparazzi, these two open the ambulance door and start insulting the people that are laying there bleeding out. That is their brand. So it's as blood money as you can get on the platform. It's as, it's, and that's what they do. And they're going to bring up God for God's sake. Are you kidding me? Two demons are going to bring up worshiping God. She didn't act the way what we would consider. Consider what? Because this is against terms of service too. You do not get to pull up this video of a suicide affecting a family and then talk like this about them unless you want you to lose your channel. To be a normal reaction. Emotionally. A normal reaction. That clip, that timestamp is going to Team YouTube. A normal reaction. You, have you ever talked to a doctor, talked to a psychologist about how people act when they're under trauma? Obviously not because there is no normal reaction. The first thing they'll tell you is everybody copes with it differently. There is no way to, call, to even state that there is normal behavior during a tragedy or during a, a moment where you are losing a loved one or you are in the middle of uh, getting shot or your family member is being squished by a car or something or whatever it is. You can't predict how someone's going to act. Everybody acts different. It's a fact. They're, it's not. What do you mean? How do you? Do you know what the word normal means, dingbat? Normal means normal, everyday behavior, everyday behavior. How are you going to say that there is a normalcy in the most uh, unnormal, anti-normal event? How can there be any normalcy in this event? It's uh, you, if somebody, now listen to this shit. What would you expect did they say if Dre would have just acted normal during this whole thing? Oh yeah, Marvon's back there. Yeah, he did this. Okay, thank you. Thanks, officer. I'm going to go take care of the kids now and try to maintain some normalcy. They would be talking about how cold-hearted she is. Oh, my gosh. Why is she acting so normal? She's being heartless. She should be crying. She should be flipping out. This is why you are victimizing Dre. You are literally breaking TOS by descending upon them in, their, in this tragedy and doing this nasty, disgusting content. Absolutely. In order to get any... You must delete your channels. No. You, you must not delete your channels. You must contact Team YouTube and tell them that you need to be banned in order for there to be justice for Dre. If you deleted your channels, it wouldn't even be justice for Dre. You need to be banned so that you can't make new channels in order for Dre to get justice. After seeing how hard you've broken terms of service against Dre. And it's not an arguable breach of terms of service. It's factual. There, again, 
if she can do this content and not break terms of service with it, then there is no breach. There can never be a breach of terms of service involving pulling video of someone's tragedy and monetizing it and attacking them. You just you can't say that YouTube's rules apply to that when there are rules designed to apply to that. This has to be a terms of service violation or those rules don't exist is what I'm saying. Right? You're right. This brings it all back up for me. I, emotionless. Yeah, Justin is just as gross as Molly. Justin tries to hide it. Justin will try to put on this little act and pretend like he's not doing what Molly's doing, right? And you can't let him get away with that ever. You can't let him fool you because Justin is a Molly. LB is a Molly. They exist to harass people that are experiencing suicides, murders, and tragedies. And they exist to monetize the harassment. They have fallen so far. I talk about this all the time. When you get a group of people on YouTube who find people doing this kind of stuff, whether it's running fraud raisers in a ring, doxing people in a ring of people together, or, you know, doing what they're doing in a ring of people, you always have a moment that lasts for a bit where they're not caught, where people don't know. There's not a lot of people that realize it, right? And they get away with doing whatever they want in that initial time period. And it's the same for each one. Then a group of people find out what they're doing and people get out there and talk about it. As they get more and more exposed, this weird phenomenon happens in every scenario. As, they get, as the line goes up of them being exposed, they also have a line go down of them being able to hide what they're doing. Right? So they become more and more obvious as they're exposed more and more and more. It happened with the fraud raiser ring. Once we started calling out the fraud raiser ring, every fraud raiser they did, it became more and more obvious that they were literally keeping the money and ripping everyone off. When, when these guys were doxing people, not them, the ones before these guys, when we exposed them for doxing people, every, for the first few people that we proved they were doxing, as they, as they kept doxing, it started to be more and more and more obvious that they were doing it until they were just sitting there doxing in front of everyone, sitting and running a fraud raiser in front of everyone. With these guys, they've been so exposed that when this footage came out, they now have gone and done their act without, they're not even trying to hide it is what I'm saying. They've been exposed to such a degree that they can't hide it anymore. So they just go on their stream and they sit and prove that we've been right the whole time. They are descending upon tragedies to harass the victims and monetize it. That's what they do. This is the most clear, observable example of it right in your face. You're right. This brings it all back up for me. I where why is she not asking where's my husband how's he doing well they already told her dingus well, this is the thing when they took him out it seemed like and i want the chat to be hey, Bubba. you know involved navy hey we're getting all the videos coming out everybody's been going through this stuff and getting all the clips together so now we finally got them all right sweet involved in this when they seem to have taken um, Marvon out, there was a bit of emotion, like a, oh, oh. A bit of emotion. A bit. See, this is why you need to be banned. Every time you come up, we are going to talk about how you must be banned now. You're not getting away with it now. You have done it. Too obvious. Too up in front. It's too late. In order for Dre McRae to get the justice she deserves, in order for you to care about justice, you must be banned because you have broken terms of service to the ext most extreme degree that anyone has in any type of scenario like this. Hashtag justice for Dre. But if it seemed like she was reacting as if, because they told her he was... You're admitting that they've already told her so why did Spanky, why did John DeSpanky here just act like she didn't know? 
because you're both lied through the whole thing. Justice for Dre. Not completely dead. Yeah, but I would still be like, oh my god. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't? What? You? You? You know, you proved you wouldn't be that way. Because you, you know how we know? Because you were unblurring the body of a child trying to see the dead body self on your live stream. You don't treat these kind of scenarios in any kind of special way or any kind of oh my god way. You try to unblur these scenarios and look at them. You've done this, by the way, ever since you got exposed for doing this shit. There have been video after video after video people have been finding of you disrespecting children and people in tragedies doing the same thing that you did to Kylie Rodney. So, I don't want to hear it from you. You, you're just sitting there like lying through your teeth here. You would have been sitting, you, all you would have been doing is wanting to just, all you want to, you would have been just wanting to dress up the body. That's it. All you wanted to do is play with the body. That's it. You wanted to get your hands. You wanted to be Mr. Mortician. That's all you want. You want to sit and act like you, uh, I would have been very upset if it was me. Literally after watching mental breakdown after mental breakdown after mental breakdown from Dre McRae, you're going to say this about her. Hashtag justice for Dre includes Justin. Well, you're normal. We're not talking. Oh, he's normal. You want to tell me that Justin is normal? Are you out of, yeah, you are out of your mind. Mr. Unblur the blurred child to try to get pictures of the child's body. You just said that he's normal. Just won't stop lying. This is the moment that Dre is told Marvon has a pulse. I'm skipping this part. I can't watch it again tonight. Her reaction. Some people say, oh my God. Well, no. Maybe someone will say, yeah, I know that a lot of people are in these, uh, the side chat saying, that her reaction was, oh, my God, he's alive in a bad she way. She could have been responding with, oh, my God, he's alive. Thank God. But she also didn't say. See this? Do I need to do anything else to make an argument that she is lying about Dre, that she is attacking Dre, that she's mocking her, making fun of her, and judging her while watching a suicide video she normally does this while watching a murder video she gets away with it because there's a perpetrator and then everyone's hating on the perpetrator and they're blinded to everything else that's happening that can't happen here this is not a murder video this is a suicide video so what is she doing factually shaming the victim mocking the victim hashtag Justice for Dre. And justice for Dre only happens when your channels where you've done this and continue to do this has finally been acted upon by YouTube. Now you say, Molly, you're not doing anything wrong. You're allowed to do this. You shouldn't be scared. You shouldn't be upset about YouTube. You should be wanting YouTube. I can't even believe after everything we've seen Molly and Justin do, this is still extreme. You know, it's like if you've ever seen those videos on Live Leaks. Live Leaks is a is a is a is a uh, web page. It's been around for a really long time, and videos of war, videos of the worst kind of things that are usually not played on the news are on Live Leaks. And if you've ever watched them, like the first time you've ever seen a video from that site. You're shocked. You're like, oh my God, what the fuck? I don't want to see this. And no matter how many times a video from that play, you, you watch a video that comes from that website, even the most tame ones, you feel that way. You never get synthes you never get synthesized to it. Or you know what I'm saying? You never get I can't say the word right now, but you never get adjusted to it, right? Sure. Yeah, accustomed to it, used to it. Yeah, you don't get accustomed to it. Um that's like this, no matter how many times they've exploited the dead for money or they've mocked the, the victim for money or whatever it is, right? They've always done it. And yeah, you, you get a little adjusted to that. 
this is so extreme, you can't be adjusted. They've gone too far. And I, I don't know how, like, moist critical or, or uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 the dude I was on stream with, uh, Mia Mudahar of Ordinary Gamers, or I, I don't understand how Tipster, I don't understand how everybody and their mom isn't talking about how these four people went and took a suicide video and mocked the victims all night in a stream while making loads of money on YouTube using their partnership to do it. Like, I just, I, I know they don't know what happened. S peeps need to be sending it in because I swear, man, like if, if people like Mudahar, you know, he covers stuff like this. He covers YouTubers that do insane things on YouTube. Mudahar does that. So if Mudahar knew about this, or if the one, any of those big YouTubers knew that this happened, I don't know why they wouldn't cover it because it's so extreme. So extreme. It's family affected by the tragedy of a suicide being mocked, shamed, and ridiculed by two YouTubers. Team Star should be covering this for fuck's sake. Team should be covering this. They all should. Hashtag justice for Dre. Justice for Dre, YouTube, looking at what they did, either banning them, telling us all that it's acceptable content. Thank God. She also didn't say hurry. I she... never reached. Why would she say hurry? Why would you ever put somebody down because they didn't say thank God when you think they should? It makes no sense. Not only what they're doing makes sense, what she just said makes no sense. I, I can't, I don't even get it. I don't get what she's saying. So now we go around and look for people that should have said, thank God, and then make fun of them if they don't say it or put them down if they don't say it. Ah, that's weird. And then if they don't say hurry when we think they should, why would, for one, I don't think anyone would have said hurry or thank God. They say it when they want to say it. Not, you don't get to tell people when to say that, for fuck's sake. I just, it's so crazy. It's so insane. We need justice for Dre. If there's ever been an injustice against another person that needs to be rectified, it is this person, Dre McRae, being, having her family when they were forced to be recorded by this police video in their own home, in their own private place, where they're, when the father of their family has is, is been cut down off a rope and barely alive, to have these two idiots making fun of them, putting them down, judging their thing. Oh my God, could you imagine if those damn kids would have been in this video? They'd be sitting here doing the same thing to the kids. Why wouldn't they? How is anything they're saying about Dre not apply to the children? Well, the child should be saying, thank God right now. Well, the child should be uh, saying, hurry up. Well, the child should be doing this. Why didn't the child do that? The child must not really care because he didn't do this. Tell me how what she's saying doesn't apply to every victim of suicide. Every family that's been, that, that has found a, a family member like this. Everything she's saying applies to everyone, not just Dre. If we went out and grabbed police video of other incidents like this, Dre is probably one of the most expressive, the most concerned, the most upset. Like imagine Molly watching a different family reacting to this kind of thing. She'd be insulting them, berating them and putting them down and shitting all over them the whole time. Judging how they're reacting to this event. It's just a fact. Swamp Critter says, I want to know is why didn't they be there for the entire family as a whole until the investigation was over? Me too, Swamp Critters. Yeah, I've been saying this the whole time. Dre is the mother of the family. They say they weren't there for Dre because they said Dre was involved. They said that Dre hurt Marvon, tried to kill Marvon, tried to poison Marvon. They said Dre was abusing the kids. There are video clip after video clip. Some of it was just played of Molly saying this back then when they were investigating. 
She's been attacking Dre, making her the bad guy the whole time that this was going on. So when this video came out, she pulled the suicide video and kept attacking Dre. But here's the problem. There was a re police report that accompanied this video. And that police report said that they thoroughly investigated Dre multiple times by different agencies. And Dre was cleared every time. She did nothing wrong. The cops, feds, CPS all say Dre did nothing wrong. Molly, LB, Leslie Bass, and Justin say she did do something wrong. She didn't act properly when she found her husband's body. They said she didn't cry enough. They said she didn't react enough. They said that she didn't use the right words. I wonder if there is something we can do more than just pointing out the atrocity, like legal funds, or since money is tricky, some sort of petition we can start. Yes, we can start a petition. Do you guys want to? I think we should start a petition called Justice for Dre. And the point of the petition is to demand that Team YouTube actually look in to LB, Leslie Bass, Molly Golightly, Justin for All, and look at their and YouTube channels and actually tell us how this, is against, how this isn't against terms of service. We can start a petition. And I don't want to be the one to do it, but Nonsense could, or another YouTube channel could. You guys can get one of the YouTubers out there to start a petition. I'll share it. I'll get it out there. We should get every one of the creators out there to, to share this petition. Great idea. I think it's a great idea. Molly's Moose Knuckle has something to say. I agree. Our top, yeah. Petition's a great idea. Navy, what do you think about a petition, bro? I know you haven't been feeling good, but thanks for coming in, bro. Thanks for having me, Bobo. Um, yeah, it's a great, it's, it's one of the things like, there, there are a couple avenues that people can use to try to like get YouTube's attention, get around else's attention to this, and a petition sounds like a great one. So yeah, I agree. Because tagging team YouTube is basically like trying to petition YouTube in a loose way. A petition would be a real way. And again, we don't want to petition YouTube to ban. We don't want to tell them what to do. We want them to look at these videos and tell us how they're. We also want them to explain. We want them to explain Justin, LB, and Molly's reaction to this video. We want them to explain Justin and Molly and LB sitting there with Molly when she's doxing people. We want the doxing videos. We want this video. And we should want a few other select instances from Betty, Molly, LB, and Justin to be in that petition. And in the petition, we should put YouTube links to what they've done. And we should put links to each of their channels. And we should demand, we should ask YouTube why they've been ignoring all of our requests to have YouTube look into this. That, that should be the petition. Why is YouTube ignoring this? Or why is YouTube allowing these people to do this? break terms of service like this but i think it's something whoever makes the petition i really think they should sit down they should talk to multiple people and they should come up with a very well written petition that has the has it explained links to the evidence in it and links to their channels in it i think that'd be great Oh, deleted videos can still be recovered. We have all the videos, and we'll make sure to get copies uploaded if she's deleted any. Let me check Molly's channel. Yeah, she's still got the 911 call up, and she's still got the Dre McRae's knife was never found. This wasn't it video still up. But if you scroll down in her live streams, she's deleted all the Dre videos. They're all gone. Millions of millions of views gone. And she just did it like a week ago. She did it right when this uh right when this whole uh thing started to come out, this report. Right when the first screenshots of this report hit the internet, Molly went in and deleted all of her Dre videos because she's terrified. Terrified of being sued. She's terrified of being banned. And she's terrified of all of us doing something to get YouTube to look into this. LB is the same way. LB did the same thing Molly did. Justin did the same thing Molly did. And Bullhorn Betty 
also has doxxed, harassed, and stalked people and needs to be added to the uh, list. And so that Could you imagine that we finally get YouTube to look at this? And that we can just put this behind us for God's sake? What other creators do this stuff? You know? Chronicles of Olivia eventually needs to be looked at. But she, she's careful. She likes to tiptoe. Still does what they do. She just tiptoes. Right? When you wait and see, like, bet you, I bet you Chronicles of Olivia isn't going to get banned, but I bet LB, Justin, Molly, and uh, Betty get banned. And I bet all four of them are furious at Chronicles of Olivia for having a channel still. I bet they're furious. And if Molly would, would finally have YouTube come in and look at her content, we all know that YouTube is either going to throw out all of their terms of service or they're going to ban her. We can all finally start putting out our final videos on this shit. But she still needs to be sued by Dre. I already said months ago, if Dre sues Molly, Just, Molly and Justin and LB and Letitia, We'll all pay for it. My chat already said months ago they'd pay for it. We'd all chip in, get it paid for, so that she didn't have to spend a dime. She didn't have to do anything. You can just sit back, let the lawyers sue the living shit out of these people. I've never seen defamation of this magnitude on the platform. It's crazy because people go after Katie Joy and claim that she's defaming people. Right? And then I'll go and look at it and see that yeah, she has some extreme opinions, but she always has her sources. She's always got proof up there. And she ends up being right a lot of the time. And, and the same people that pretend to care about defamation don't care. They support Molly. The same people that, that are against defamation, Charlotte, all these other people, they support Molly, who is the queen of direct defamation. But then they go around claiming other YouTubers are defaming people when those YouTubers show sources, show proof, show evidence, and back up what they say. There is a congregated group of liars around Molly. Congregated group of defamers. And one thing is in common about all defamers is def defamation is the same thing as a lie. So they will have the same thing in common as liars do. And everything... That a, the one thing that all liars have in common is that not only will they lie on someone with their original lie, but they will always have a secondary lie. And they'll say that they're not lying, they're, their victim is. Every time. So you're always going to have the person telling the truth being called a liar, and the person lying being called a liar. And as I've always said... The only way you can tell is to go in and look at the evidence. If you look at the actual evidence, look at who's ignoring evidence, look at who is using tactics, and look at who's actually being honest, willing to address evidence, and you can find who's telling the truth and who's lying. Defamation is the same way. Dre could stand up and say, Molly, LB, and Justin are defaming me, and Letitia. They're going to stand up and say, Dre's defaming me. But if you look... Dre hasn't said shit about them other than that they're defaming her. They, on the other hand, have months of video of them defaming Dre. And so you can figure out the truth very quickly. Right? Reached out to anything. And it, and it still stands. Dre Molly, Molly, I'm going to let you know before you get going any further. The things you say about how Dre is reacting to this apply to all people reacting to finding a family member committed suicide. Because Dre didn't do it. She's been cleared. You're not just talking about Dre. I'm going to make sure I say this. You're also talking about every other person who finds a family member like this. Every family. And veterans alone, 22 to 24 a day. Maybe it was 22 to 26. Either way, really close number. Right around 24 people a day. Just veterans commit suicide per day. Family members find them every day. 
you are talking about all of them who have not been involved. Ray has not been involved, and you're talking about her finding Marvon. So if you have another suicide where the person that finds him is not involved, you're saying this about them too. Thank you, K-Dub. So let's hear what you got to say. But remember, you're saying about every family member who finds another family member like this. You're not just saying it about Dre. McCray knows that at any time, and just a disclaimer for me and Justin, we say this every time we talk about her, Dre McCray is allowed to, to come and take a link whenever she wants. She You're literally just making fun of her here. So you think that if you if you give Dre the option to come on your show, that somehow it explains all the lies, all the attacks, all the defamation, all the slander, all the mocking, all of the even why do you think you deserve her to even look at you? You don't deserve her to even look your way. Someone that actually is taking care of their family, someone that's actually taking care of their kids, someone that's actually putting out real content, why would they even look your way? You are the opposite of Dre. You are the evil opposite of Dre McRae. Look at my thumbnail. Again, my thumbnail is on point. I don't even mean to do it half the time. It just happens. It's like I'm taken over by a thumbnail demon. And it makes my thumbnails perfect every time. Dre is an innocent angel in this situation compared to ULB and Justin, who are the demons. Why would this angel look your way? And no, I'm not talking about in life. I'm not talking about all the time. I don't care if Dre... Don't, what do people say about Dre? I don't care if Dre was selling shitty makeup. I don't care if Dre liked to lick Marvon on the cheek, right? These are just weird things that Dre did. It has nothing, her personality ticks, whether we find them strange or normal, has nothing to do with any of this. Again, this is outside of normalcy. This is outside of the regular life. Why would she, who is trying to do the right thing and pull her life back together after it was destroyed by this tragedy, give you a second of her time? Because she would be giving you clout. You don't deserve it. All you deserve is infamy. Infamy, by the way, is the anti-clout. If, if the clout you gain is so twisted and corrupt it's in the negative, then it's not clout anymore. You don't have clout. You have what is called infamy. Infamous. You remember back in the Hollywood days in the, in the, when the cowboys, uh, you know, riding on their horses and shooting bang, bang, bang. Their, their revolvers had good cowboys that ran around and tried to do the right thing and fight the bad guys and the John Waynes and shit, right? They were famous. Then you had the Billy the Kids, and you had these, these other cowboys that went around murdering people and robbing trains and stealing and being one step ahead of the law until they got caught and, you know, uh, died young and all this garbage, right? The only problem is I can't compare you to Billy the Kid or any of those infamous people because all you do is sit in your chair and crunch on food loudly while belching and taking substances that make you run, run around and forget things that are going on and scream and yell and act crazy. An e-bag. I, I don't think I ever, I don't think Billy the Kid ever e-bagged. So no, I can't, you're just, you're just an infamous locale. You're called a locale. Infamy on the internet. When you cross into infamous, if the behavior that you do is you're like shanty for christ you're like uh king cobra jfs you're like dark side phil you're a locale people watch you to see someone act the most craziest 
shameless way possible. She never has. We never expected her to. Yeah, you did. If you didn't expect her to, if you didn't want her to, you wouldn't have shared it. You are obsessed with this woman. You, you are literally, you look up to her. You want her life. You want what she has. You've tried to take it. But just know. Hashtag justice for Dre. All the, the options there. Hashtag justice. Blah, blah, blah. Do you hear yourself talk? The options there. Like, why are you talking like that? I've heard you not talk like this. Are you just embarrassed? Are you uh, feeling a little shame or something? Like, what's going on? Did you just realize that you sound really, really uh, salty towards Dre here? And, and it made you go blah, 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 blah. Period. Okay, let's, Gray. Please, let's go back. And uh, one thing I do want to say before I forget to say it, which I don't think I'm going to forget to say it. No, you probably will. So you better say it. Is Give my what, my sentiment to Marvon McCray, I am so sorry that this little demon hunted and found you. What the fuck? Hmm. What did she just say about... Calling her this... a demon that hunted and found him? What? So, so Dre is a demon. Can you please back this up with video clips? Because I can back up video clips of them being in love. Him saying how much he loved her, wanted to be with her forever. He said if he ever died, he wanted Dre to take care of his kids. He wants his kids to stay with Dre. Do you see how Molly is literally just trying to throw insults at Dre? She's defaming her. How do we get justice for Dre? When someone pulls a suicide video and takes a suicide victim and calls them names like this while they're devastated over their husband's attempted suicide. How do you get justice for Dre? Well, one way is for Team YouTube to see this clip and for them to ban Molly, Justin, and LB for doing this. Now, LB's gonna cry. She will, eventually, real soon. If she don't cry tonight, or tomorrow, she'll cry next week or the week after. And after that, she'll ask for money um, because she's crying. And she's going to cry and say, why are you attaching me to Molly? You did it too. You did a stream exactly like this with your blubber-mouthed husband over on your channel. And every time you were sitting there putting Dre down and talking about how she did something wrong, your husband was in the background going, blah, 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 blah. I love his blubber mouth. <laughs> it's one of the only funny things that I get to talk about when I bring up LB. And LB's sitting there talking about how Dre... I think that the seven police investigations were messed up, and I think that they missed, uh, missed some of the stuff that Dre did wrong. And then her husband's in the background like, And then she turns around and says, Do you mind speaking so that I can understand you? Ned, honey! I swear that you're, you're right about that. Oh, yeah, honey, you're right about that. Will you please get your baloney lips in order so that I can understand you, please, says LB. I am so, so sorry what has happened and become of your life. What? So his mental illness that had nothing to do with Dre. It was, because if you know, okay, Molly, you still don't understand why. I'm going to help you. If Dre is loving Marvon, helping Marvon, and being there for Marvon, and spending time with Marvon, and she has three kids doing it with her, and they're a family unit, and they go to bed together, they wake up together. They eat together. They do schoolwork together. They work together. They eat together. And they go to bed together. And they do this for years. And then Marvon attempts suicide. You can't just signal, single out one of those people and say that they failed Marvon. 
everything you're saying about Dre applies to anyone that was in his life that was around him day by day who loved him and spent time with him and tried to help him. You're saying this not just about Dre, but about the kids too, whether you'll admit it or not. Because logically, your criticism must also apply to them. Have a reason why your criticism does not apply to them? What's the difference? That, that, were they with Marvon as much as, as Dre? Yeah. Did they love Marvon and spend time with him and talk to him and help him? Yeah. Did they all try to do everything they could to help with his mental disorder? Yeah. So how is it that Dre, what did Dre specifically do to fail him that the kids didn't do? You see, there's nothing. There is no behavior Dre could have done that the kids didn't also do that would have helped him with his mental disorder. Therefore, when you sit and say, I feel bad for Marvon because Dre didn't do more to help his disorder, you're saying it about the children too. Or whoever else was with them. If it wasn't children, if there was another adult there, you'd be saying it about the adult. But because it was children, you're saying it about the children. You are disgusting. You are a demon, not her. It's funny, because I didn't even hear her say this, Navy. This is the first time I've heard her call her a demon. Did you know she called her a demon? Uh, no, no, I didn't. I didn't this, um, it just keeps getting worse and worse. She keeps opening her mouth, and worse and worse stuff comes out. And... <clears throat> How dare she? I'm just gonna say, how, how dare know. you? It's you know? crazy. My my thumbnail is literally Dre wearing angel wings over here, innocent, and them having demon horns, and it says justice for Dre because these are what well, not her. She she applies to this, but but Justin, Molly, and LB have justice for Dre on them because they, you know, did this. They are the victimizers of Dre. These are the victimizers right here, not Olivia, these ones. And this is the victim. If she would have done something to uh, make Marvon do it, or if she would have done any of the things they've accused them of pertaining to him doing it, then she wouldn't be innocent, and the things they say would be about someone who did this to Marvon and would therefore be valid to most people or at least them holding that opinion would be valid. But because Dre's innocent and because she didn't do the stuff they say she did, when they say these things about her, they are victimizing her. I'll explain even further for the moolies in the back, okay? For the blubber mouths in the back, okay? For those with jaundice devil horns in the back, okay? One more time, if she is a perpetrator and done something to Marvon she shouldn't have done, then when they come in and say these things about Dre, it's not victimizing Dre because it's describing and putting her down for what she tried to do to him. But if they're lying and just making it up out of the blue, which they are, we've proven it, and she's actually innocent, the reason they are victimizing her is because they are pretending or lying as if she committed these things against him. I got to take my medicine. I forgot. I just yelled for Rachel. So Molly, Justin, you LB, just... What's up? said you have a new member. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Um, but just so I've laid it flat, just so I've laid this out, right? Again, the act of victimization is where Ray has gone through extreme things to prove her innocence and to have her life and rights stepped on so that she's innocent. And by you guys ignoring the facts and evidence, her name, you have actually not, def not even defamed, you have, and slandered, but you've made her a victim of your lies. Because instead of her having the, the entire world look at her and feel sorry for her, 
for the fact that she had to experience this tragedy that she didn't cause, she didn't aid in, she did nothing wrong in because of the fact that your lies caused her not to be able to have everybody treat her that way. The people that believe your lies and send you money when you're attacking her are people that believe you and then take away all of those things she did to prove her innocence. That's why you're victimizing her. And I know I just explained it in depth, but that's so they don't get confused. They can't just say, nuh uh. They can't just be like, Uni's lying. No, I've actually proven that you have taken factual things away from her to make her a victimizer, to make her a bad person when she's innocent. Thus, you have victimized her name, victimized this tragedy. And who have you affected the most by doing this? Marvon. Because Marvon, before this happened, said that Dre loved him, did everything right for him. I can't believe she just called her a demon. If you want to call Dre a demon, it's not going to be against terms of service to do it. Well, hold on. That's unless you pull a video from the police of her when when she finds her husband and you start to say those things then well that's against terms of service you're harassing a woman using this video you shouldn't even play this video at all so i've been talking to more people navy more youtubers just more viewers and more people yeah. out there okay and i've been that's asking awesome. them i've been asking them all the same thing is it ever appropriate to play the body cam footage of families finding their a, a suicide, a member of their family who's who's attempted or committed suicide, is that ever valid to play on YouTube? Is there a reason? Is it content? Is it is it valid? Is it not harassment? And every person I've talked to still says these things can't be played on YouTube. It's exploitation of a tragedy, and YouTube has specific TOS against tragedies being exploited. So I'm still under that opinion that you can't do this. Especially not in the way that they're like, because when you use it, especially if you're taking it and you're going to use it to demonize somebody to with no evidence whatsoever. In fact, what you're pulling from gives you the ev evidence of the opposite being true. And you're still doing it on purpose. It is, it, it's become personal. Like you're just doing this to hurt somebody, right? Cause you get off on hurting people. And that is, that is horrible. And it should not, you know, that should be something that you do needs to, Take a look at because nobody in their right mind thinks this is okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, my audio cut out. I had to restart it. No, but I heard most of okay. what you said. The audience could still hear you though. And I heard most of what you said. But yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to find someone who says, yes, you can use body cam footage of a, of a family finding a suicide member of their family position for any reason. And I haven't, even for a documentary, people say you shouldn't grab the video and use it. It's against the uh, terms of service. It's against terms of service in almost every aspect that I've, I, I can't find a YouTuber. I can't find a viewer. I talk to people that have been on YouTube for years and they all say that they should be banned for this. LB, Justin, and Molly should be banned for this. And LB's blubbermouth baloney husband should be banned too. I, yeah, I just restarted the sound, y'all. Sorry, my audio engine crashed and I had to restart it. You, he got a bad, he got a raw fucking deal at life. Molly, uh, Molly's Moose Knuckle says also showing her sitting there eating like she is at the movies. It's clear this is entertaining for her. Oh, yeah. The popcorn eating. She's did that on purpose. Justin, he uh, really uh, fucking did. Uh, you know, uh, <sighs> he got a raw deal in life, huh? Because he's with Dre. That's why he got a raw deal, huh? Couldn't have been, you know. They want to keep pretending like Dre was the reason he did what he did. And, and Dre wasn't the reason. 
he'd been with Dre all those years, and he had tried to do something right before this happened. Not right, but somewhat before, but we'll leave that out of this because it's, it's just not relative. There was something that had been bothering him since he was a child that he'd always talked about as the worst thing in his life, the thing that depressed him the most, the thing that he'd never want his children to go through, Molly. Do you know what that was? Because I've played the video. Since I've already played it, instead of me going and grabbing the video, I'm just going to you know, remind every, all of you what it said. Marvon said that the, uh, the thing that bothered him the most was the way that his mother treated him when he was young, and he would never want his children to ever go through anything like what he had to go through when he was with his mother. That's factual. Letitia. Now, it's crazy because when he walked out and did this, Letitia was con and Andre and Marvon were trying to make plans to visit, have their family visit Letitia. So it's like, you know, you want to keep yelling that it's Dre's fault and all, and you want to keep defending Letitia. You know, I think that you're, I think the reason you keep putting it on Dre, I think it has something to do with your support of Letitia. The audio is still messed up. Let me hear it. Do with your support of Letitia. The audio is still messed up. Let me hear it. Do with your support of Letitia. The audio. Yeah, I don't hear it, guys. I'll restart my audio again for you. Check, check. Yeah, I, I, I feel like after I restarted the audio the first time that it fixed it myself. Who fucking deserves to be treated like that? Exactly. Why are you treating Dre like this? She doesn't deserve it. She didn't do anything wrong. Oh, nobody. She's sitting there. Uh, I'm so confused. And then like, and then he was doing this. And then I don't quite Any understand. So just so no, none of you try to say that Molly did not attack, insult, and because there are people out there saying Molly didn't insult Dre during the body cam suicide footage. Yeah, I just played it. There are people saying that she didn't uh, mock Dre. Yeah, she did. She did. Molly's own supporters know she's done. Her own supporters know it. All you got to do is look at the way her hardcore little group's acting right now. They know she's done. They know she went too far this time. By the way, any of you that just got in here, Someone in chat had the brilliant idea of us starting a petition to try to petition YouTube to answer why they're allowing Molly, LB, and Justin, Betty to do what they're doing. So it would be doing in this video, doing in the doxings, and doing in a few other things. And I think that a petition is a great idea. She's almost done. Let's, let's carry on because there's a lot more stuff. <laughs> Dre was texting her children inside to keep them away from the commotion going on outside. Yes, she was. She was constantly communicating with the older children, keeping them calm, telling them, Daddy's got a pulse. They're helping Daddy. Calm down. I can't come in right now. I have to talk to the authorities. I'll be in soon. Relax. I'm going to go to the hospital. We just have to talk to the authorities. Calm down. Oh, I'm down for the petition. I, I hope Nonsense is the one who puts it together because I think it'll have the biggest response if Nonsense does. I would do it, but I think if Nonsense... And if Nonsense doesn't want to do it, I'll do it, okay? Justice for Dre. Navy, do you know what we have to do to get justice for Dre? Do, right? Well, what we're doing now is part of it. Very true. Exposing this, bringing it out there, getting other people to understand what's going on. 
letting them know exactly how evil and vile this is and how this is unacceptable and making sure that it, that's the thing is that you can sit there and say, Oh, I hate the way she does stuff and not say anything. Or you can say, I don't like the way she does stuff and this is wrong. And I'm going to say something about it. I'm going to put myself out there and be like, listen, this is wrong. And that's what a lot of these channels are doing. And I love it. And also I think we need to make sure through a petition, team YouTube, the action, when I say team YouTube, I don't mean Twitter team YouTube. I mean the team the moderation team inside of YouTube sees everything they've done. That's what we got to do. That would be the end goal. Everything Navy said between now and then while we work on the petition and just to make sure, you know, we should just make sure Team YouTube looks at the entire community. Because I know Nonsense would volunteer for Team YouTube to look at her channel because they would find a channel that follows the rules. My channel follows the rules. I can't wait until I hit 100,000 subs and, and, and the teams at YouTube have to, to comb through my channel to see if I'm in the rule set to be verified and to have my plaque and all that. I can't wait. People like Molly and LB and Justin fear Team YouTube actually looking at their channels. They fear it. They're scared of it. Oh, thank you, Cherie. And it's their biggest fear. I don't know why they choose to live like that. Personally, I think it's anger. I think it's jealousy. I think they're driven to act that way. I am rambling, though. I'm going to shut up so we can get through. I've got a bunch of videos. I am i can't get through. I told you guys two days ago and yesterday, I can't get through videos over this. I notice I start talking more because I just don't want to play more of the video. I don't even want to see this. Yeah, my nonsense says I have you in my ear, but I'm finishing dishes. I have you in my ear. I'm finishing dishes. Well, I want us to try to talk about doing a petition. Petition YouTube to look at the worst videos from these four creators. And whoever we need to put the petition together, whoever we need to get it done, whoever, like, I didn't come up with the idea. Someone in chat did, and it's a great idea. It's an excellent idea. Because it'll basically be a thing that can stay there. It's better than us tagging Team YouTube because when you tag Team YouTube, it's all scattered. And a petition is the same thing, but it's all put into one paper. It's put into one place, so it keeps track of it. Pray for him right now. He is, I need to get more people to pray for him right now. He is what? What? You, Molly, you just said that you, were wa that you think Dre should be thanking God or asking for God and stuff. Dre starts doing it after she checks on the kids. Like when you see Dre on her phone, she's checking on the kids, texting the kids, calming the kids, okay? She talked to the authorities, answered all their questions, told them everything they needed. Text the kids, talk to the kids. Then after she finishes with the kids, starts to say a prayer and text her family asking for them to pray for Marvon. Molly, while she's texting the kids is demanding, is talking about how much of a demon she is because she hasn't asked for God to help yet. But as soon as she finishes, she starts asking for God to help. And it pisses Molly off. It makes her angry. Chaotic uh, artist Anita says, I would say don't use change.org for the petition. They turn people off with ads and constant emails. I agree. Oh, I agree. Definitely. Uh, there, and that's why I, I don't know anything about that kind of stuff is why I don't want to volunteer because I, I don't know anything there, right? Um, so just so you know, don't lose track of the fact that Molly just called Dre names for not calling to God. But she's doing it now, and let's see how, how Molly reacts. Is she going to be like, oh, thank God, you know. I just said that she needs to thank God, and now she's doing it, so I'm glad she's doing it. Is that what she's going to say? What? What did she say? I, hold on. She said, cop, hold on. I need to get more people to pray for him. Hold on. I, yes, I'm serious. That's what she, she didn't say, cop, hold on. You're, you're lying there. She just said. No. Cop, cop, hold on. No, she was talking out loud, speaking out loud. I need more people to pray for him. I need more people to pray for him. She's, what are you talking about, cop? And I think Molly does this stuff because 
Dre because Molly was just saying Dre needs to thank God. So she's trying to make up anything she can to distract people from the fact Dre did thank God. Molly was wrong for saying what she said, right? I mean, you know yeah, me? listen, you guys just is one on one. He was locked in the so house. He didn't to, get to drive. He didn't get to go he anywhere. He didn't get to visit anyone. He talking about. He wasn't allowed to drive because of his seizures, not because Dre locked him in the house. Liar. Justin. I thought Justin knew about people that have seizures and judge because he judges people that have seizures so much. So you don't know that people can't drive when they have that kind of seizures? So you think it's Dre. You don't think it's the doctors that made him not be able to drive. It's Dre's fault that he can't drive, huh? <laughs> Such an idiot. That is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard Justin he say. He didn't get to make his own money. He literally... Yes, he did. He worked for her. What are you talking about? He went live with her. He was half the fucking stream. Was the nanny. You're just running your mouth, bro. You are literally in panic mode over all of your lies hitting the fan. And you're just up on your stream repeating your lies over and over, hoping to God that, you know, this all goes away. Listen, just somebody... I appreciate it, but I, yeah. I just... You want to know something classy, girl? Oh, God. Gotten Whispers just put, here it comes on the screen. I don't know how anything can, here it comes after what we just saw. How can anything be, here it comes with what we just saw? I See, this is why I don't want to play this video. She's, this woman has gotten so much heat for no reason. Yes. She got all this heat. Because her husband's mental health consumed him. She was innocent. She's a victim. She didn't choose. In order for someone to break the law, to do something wrong, they have to have intent. She had no intention, no intent, no choice where she did something wrong that caused her family to go through this. She, it was the opposite. She overly tried to help Marvon. So yes, that statement that she has gotten so much heat for no reason is absolutely true. What is the reason? What did Dre do wrong? You still can't say it. You still can't. And then look right here. Letitia Cashap. Letitia Cashap. Letitia is still in that chat Trying to get some cash app. Letitia's back, y'all. Now that Dre's body cam's up on the screen, Letitia's trying to get that cash app, y'all. For no reason. If you want to contact me personally, personally, that's fine. That's that's fine. fine. If personally. So now people have to contact you so that you can lie about Dre in the DMs? Because you know if you say it on the air, people are going to correct you. Now you got to do secret evidence. I've got the evidence that Dre did something wrong, but you have to contact me personally to get the secret evidence, right? This is their best life. I feel Dre, sorry for right? her. Yeah. Yo, this is my best yeah. life. Personally, the mar Hashtag justice for Dre. YouTube creators like Justin LB and Molly should not be permitted to mock families while watching their fucking body cam suicide video with no victims, or I'm sorry, with no perpetrator there, just the victims. You should, YouTubers should not be permitted to mock victims like this and be monetized, let alone shouldn't be on the, shouldn't be on the platform. They should be banned and they should be having to do this over on what a bit shoot. They should have this should be treated just like they treated the worst conspiracy theories. If you're gonna ban conspiracy theories, this is a conspiracy theory. The conspiracy theory is that even though all the evidence shows Dre didn't do this and that it was she's a victim, somehow with no proof and no words and nothing, she's just a victim and we can treat her like this. It's a vicious conspiracy theory. Molly and Justin and LB are vicious conspiracy theorists.
They ignore the facts. They ignore the evidence. They create a narrative, and then they use the narrative to make money. And if their narrative gets debunked, they just keep lying about it and pretending like it didn't get debunked. Keep ignoring the facts. Our Vaughn name is is bad you can't put it in your uh thing you want so shit. much trouble yeah marvon's so bad huh molly name's so bad and all he was doing was clinging because you can't make money off to... of it if you do that you're a lying cow yeah remember how she said i i don't want to monetize it while monetizing the hell out of it i'm gonna see my family i'm gonna see my family that's not what he said. And why are you talking like that? That's racist. Why do you have this racist tone while you're saying that? But that's not what he said. The only reason that he was willing to even uh, 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 entertain seeing his family, if you actually listen to Marvon talk, was because he thought his family wasn't going to keep stealing from him and Dre, lying to him and Dre, attacking him and Dre, manipulating him and Dre. And when he found out that they were still doing it, they didn't see them. You're neglecting to say these things. You are neglecting to show the video that proves these things. And he couldn't even have that. She had 1 million percent control. She had 1 million percent control. Huh? He's not an adult. Nope. He's a child. She has full control over him. You know? What Forgotten Whispers just dropped in the live chat. Uh, Molly was saying, contact me personally, collect money for... Oh, <gasps> no. It was about the money? No. Forgotten Whispers just said, Molly was saying, contact me personally, to collect money for Letitia. So Molly is still collecting money for Letitia in the background. Oh, my God. Of that so, house, of the So Letitia is still scamming money under Marvon's name. That needs to go to the investigators. The investigators need to know that. Dre reported Letitia for trying to make money in his name months ago. And when Letitia finally got some heat, she ran off. The fact that she's coming back now... I think that, that the investigators need to know. Money? Dre McRae's life is never going to go yeah. back to being what it was. Yeah. And hold on. Uh... No, uh, well, yeah, why would it? Why would her life go back to being what it was, Molly? Her husband, gone. But you're talking about money. You're Dre? You're looking at the fucking cop that dealt with it. He's a fucking moron. That's why. Oh, look at me. Oh, oh look at me. I it, don't tell me she doesn't need to be banned. I don't care if you pulled a video, and I mean this, of, a, of an earthquake, and someone got hit in the head with a rock and fell over, and all these things happened is considered a tragedy or a, a car wreck and you're sitting there insulting and making fun of the people who are the victims of what's happening youtube will ban you live streamers like this and like look at j station for fuck's sake he was making fun of fucking uh that kind of stuff and and uh, clickbaiting around it and everything no he's banned I, I just don't understand where she has lost the plot so thick. Why even try to steal Dre's subs and build a channel if you're just going to throw it away and break TOS so obviously? It just baffles the mind. McCray and her children. I provided him with an overview of the case and discussed with him. So this is, uh, I read this whole page to you guys. This is, uh, 
nonsense reading it. I read this yesterday, so I'm going to just skip past this part. Okay. Her life. Her husband took extreme measures as he was not doing well at the time. We kind of sum this up. I'll give you all of that information. You do what you want with it. I'm going to move on. Forgotten Whispers, this is a great video. You did a great job. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. I'm going to say is I have left Dream McRae in God's hands. And that's where we all end up. I do believe. Oh, better hope one day you'll be in God's hands because I think you're serving a different God than Dre is. I think you're going to have to worry about Satan with the way you act and the things you do. And I wish I was exaggerating or something like, how in the world do you even speak of God? Are you kidding me? I try not to talk about stuff like this too often on this channel. If you read the Bible, if you look at Ray's recordings and you look at Molly's, there's such a contrast. One person, Ray, lives by family. I mean, she lives by family more than I do. She has her kids homeschooled. And her and her husband are there feeding them, cooking these big dinners every meal, educating them, you know, studying with them, like homeschooled. They would all do it together, working together. It was a family-based lifestyle. A, uh, life, it was an old-fashioned kind of lifestyle, right? They all seemed happy. They all talked nice to each other, got along with each other, spent a massive amount of time together. So when, when, when Dre went live, it was with the family. Hey, Chaotic, thank you. If you look at the contrast of Molly's recordings in her life, it's the exact opposite. It's constant self. Dre's videos are constant group, constant family, constant non-self because you've included all these other people that you care for as much as yourself. Molly is all self. All self. She's the opposite of Christianity or what the Bible says you should be. And again, I never talk like this, but I'm going to since Molly brought it up. You can check me on this. You can look at the values that the Bible instills and compare it to the recordings of these two different people. You, you would, if, if you had to ask yourself after looking at these things, the Bible and these two people and their recordings, you would think that you would consider Dre someone who is godly or attempts to be godly, attempts to live that way, and you would look at Molly and think that she's the most selfish, nasty, negative, disrespectful, mean person. Fake, false a liar, a, uh, if I, if I use any other words, it'll be extremely insulting. So I'm going to stop. So it just seems so weird. It's so weird. It's so crazy. Like, do we live oh. in a world where you can just say the words now, Navy or what? Like, Oh yeah, no, we, it, it, it's been that way. People do this all the time. The thing is, and Molly, you need to go back and learn the definition of compassion and you're claiming this, you know, all this stuff about, you know, God and putting, you know, drain God's hands. You need to go back and understand the compassion that was put forth by Christ and, and, and the, the rest of the teachings. Because you have zero compassion for anybody. And well, it, it she does have compassion for herself. The only thing she has compassion yeah. for is money, the self, the, uh, the constant uh, plastic surgery and spending like massive amounts of money on these like expensive wines, expensive food, expensive hotels and all this garbage. And it's all about showing off worldly possessions. And I didn't see Dre do that ever. I mean, I'm looking at two contrasting people and I see a demon on one side, a nasty, negative, mean thing on one side. If I can't use the word demon, nasty, negative, selfish thing. And I see a selfless, loving, positive 
teacher, mother, family member on the other. I can't say that about Molly. Believe that the, oh, it's the exact event. opposite. The way she treats her kids, the way she treats her husband, and by the things that she does, it is yeah. literally the exact opposite of everything we've seen about about Dre and Marvon and all this kind of stuff. And are couples that are married to each other going to fight? Yes. Are they going to have arguments? Yes. That, if they don't, there's something wrong. Everybody does. <laughs> Right, and to somehow try to uh, twist that into the fact that she's a uh, demon Stephen or she forced him this and the third. Charlotte on the web. I want I want to say this for for Dre right now is that you know I just want to say thank you to her because being with somebody who has issues that they suffer from is not easy, especially when you're trying to maintain a family. And then Maybe this happens. I'm, I'm sorry. Hold on. Take a listen to this. <laughs> All right. Shout out to the Grifties.com leaders, uh, Steve McRae. Charlotte on the web, and Molly go lightly. And shout out to the bots. We know a lot of you guys use bots to uplift yourself on thegriftings.com. We appreciate the effort, and thank you for participating. This year will be a lot more stringent, and we're going to keep an eye on those bots, so uh, keep at it. Yeah, so up your bot game. We've got one more commercial break before we head to the grifter of the year, so don't go anywhere. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's that? awesome <laughs> okay so they said that the people using the bots were using the bots on themselves that's what, they, that's what he just said people using the bots in the grifties were using the bots on themselves that's what he said I just heard him say that so the grifties are out Yep, Who's the grifter of the year? See, this is what I told you guys this would happen. They're not going to go by the vote. But who got grifter of the year? Don't tell me it was Alex fucking Stein. He's a comedian. He's not a grifter. It's a joke. It's funny. And the winner for grifter of the year is... Wait a minute. I know him. I know him. I know him. Um, who is that? Who's that guy right there? Um, no clue. I know him. I, I, I just, his name just flew by my head. I've actually talked to him before and he, cause he was friends with Rob Dew, who I used to do a podcast with. Owen, Owen something. Friar? Alex Stein. What? Hold on. I thought that they did the grifties by the vote. I thought the vote was how they determined the grifties. Alex Stein is the grifter of the year. A, a dude that does comedy. A, a joke. A guy that does like jokes. And, and, and just goes out there and, and does fun, the funny things to prank people and do jokes is a grifter. Congratulations, Alex Stein. You are the 2022. So this was just a complete fucking uh, sham. It was just a complete fucking sham. When in the world did they even determine any of this? I thought, like, the first grifter, the first year of the grifties was literally all based off of the vote. Like not. What the fuck was Rakita doing? The most uh, visibility they've gotten ever, uh, but definitely still tough competition in Canada, being the absolute uh, dictatorship that they are. Uh, with the, uh, I was trying to send some money to somebody in Canada the other day, and I was like, "Yeah, you got this." He's like, "Nah, they don't allow that." You got this? Yeah, we don't got that. You got this? It was PayPal. I ended up having to PayPal him. But he had to like jump through hoops. Canada is like a despot. I don't even know what's going on in Canada. It's, I feel like if we kick somebody out of Hotepistan, there's two places we're going to send them. Canada and Australia. Uh, man, what about Schwab? We got to come out. Big Daddy Schwab. I love it. Cobra Commander Schwab and the World Economic Forum, man. He's the <laughs> 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 That's, I mean, that, you're right. They sound, you better not say Schwab's name. 
Yeah, uh, definitely like one of those dark Illuminati forces behind the scenes. I definitely don't want to say too much about them. But shout out to the Ukraine. They definitely deserve this category. And uh, shout out to FBI. If you've been following the FBI, or if you're black, you know all about the FBI. Uh <laughs> uh, Nick wanted to win Grifter of the Year. I know he did. I know he did. Uh, but the Twitter files leaked uh, a lot of information on the FBI. And uh, again, another group or organization that deserved to be in this category. It's almost like if Hoover's FBI went woke. <laughs> <laughs> if Hoover came out. <laughs> We're halfway through, and leading the second half is the People's Grifty. And to present, we have a YouTube commentator and coffee slinger, Jeremy from The Quarter. Super honored to present this category today, the People's Grifters. When one thinks of a grifter, the first thing that comes to mind is a con artist or a hustler. Yeah, a con artist or a hustler, sure. But as we know, many good people use the grift, hopping on trending topics of the day to share their thoughts and opinions and help enlighten others. Uh, give me one second, Artov. These here. creators gather large followings of loyal fans and encourage... Owen Schroyer, thank you, Artov. Owen Schroyer, yeah. Them. And memed their way to the top of grifties.com. The greatest of these fans dedicated to voting them up the charts and into the hearts of millions. These are the People's Grifters, brought to you by Coffee Brand Coffee. Just kidding about that, but you know, gotta get my grift done. The nominees. What the fuck is this? Where did they get voted? What did I miss, Navy? Because I've been brought screenshots of the grifties for the last six months or five months or some shit right every oh, yeah. like i could every few weeks somebody would bring it and be like hey look who, look at who's on the top of the grifties now and i i never saw any of the, them at the top of the grifties our nick or kato i don't know i know rikita did go out and tell his people to vote for him what is it i said i know rikita did go out and tell his fans to vote for him on the grifties yeah, but I think he was like number 12 or something. I, I mean, I haven't seen the, the list in like, like leading up into December. I, I didn't really see the list too much, but I know how it ended. I did see it at the end. Um, I Free know. my soul. I want you to subscribe to my booty hole. Let's grift away. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to the chat. Cheers to the chat, motherfuckers. <laughs> Cheers. This is, this is critically important i have not asked you guys to do anything like this in a long time uh if you if you could go ahead and, and help like with an upvote on ricada right there i have nine votes remaining hey I do, but i i voted i want to vote again i want to vote all 10 for me the quartering if you look in the hall of fame of grifters guys like you know, Nick Ricada come to mind. One of the one of the original gangsters for grifting. Yeah. And then like Alex Stein of all people dared, dared to try and come for the crown. I think if everyone watching this video voted twice today, I think What is this? I think we could catch Nick. I think we could catch Nick next year and so the submissions are open and, and we've got some stiff competition not only Nick Ricada who is commanding his own fans to vote for him that's a little bit of a grift I'm just doing it on behalf of our cat of course Alex Stein yo what up council it's me they call me Alejandro Stein but I'm formally I'm formally Alejandro Stein now I go by ya and I actually represent the new Kanye West 2024 presidential run. Let's go, baby! Let's go! I'm here to spit! I can't even turn it on! <laughs> well, dude, and, and, and wait, before we go, before we wrap up the show, dude, I'm coming for Grifter of the Year. Some of these guys, like Jeremy, or some of these guys are beating me in the voting. I need to get back on my voting. They, they're, they're, they're juking the stats. They're like... Hey, everybody, yeah. You know, camp... You're right, Doc. It painting. Is. I haven't started my campaign. It's all about, look, no matter who gets voted the, the grifter of the year, right? They're not going to take somebody who is irrelevant toward 
in in the eyes of uh, let's say like Molly or McRae or who is the other Charlotte? Was it Charlotte? Was she the other one? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God! No. You know they're gonna want people who actually have clout. Okay. With their their definition of grifter is the ironic definition of grifter. It's like the right wing definition where you'll get people on the left wing who will say things like Nick Rakita is a grifter. Now, if you watch Nick Rakita, let's get real for a minute without playing into the meme, because I like to play into the meme. Nick isn't a grifter. Nick doesn't e-bag. He doesn't rip his audience off. He provides content and he's extremely popular, right? So he's not a grifter, but if you look out on Twitter, they are calling Nick a grifter all the time, the ones that don't like him or whatever. So anyway, Molly being at the top of the list or, or Charlotte or, or even the Lobster Man, um, they have nothing. Like if, if they did a segment on Molly, no one would, would, people would shut down the video. They wouldn't keep watching the video. If they did a segment on Charlotte on the web, they would shut down the video. Now, I don't think that Hotep and the others know why these people were the most voted for. And I can probably tell, I could probably guess a few reasons why. So my first guess would be that it's because they have actively ripped off. Molly has ripped off her fans at a massive, massive level last year. Also, Steve McRae ran literal fraud raisers where he said he was going to sue somebody, but he never filed the lawsuit. And then after he didn't file any, and a year went by, um, and his audience was his own audience berated him. Why didn't you file? He said, well, I'm still kind of going to sue her, even though it'd been dismissed with prejudice. So I'm going to leave it up and take more money because I might still sue her, but in a different way. So because these people, and my guess is because these people actively rip their audience off, these two people, they were voted up very high. That's a guess. The other guess would be bots. And I can only go by what Hotep said. Hotep said that in order to popularize themselves, these three, we have to watch it again. Okay, so here's what Hotep said. You know, I don't have any other, uh, I don't have any <laughs> more right, viable, I don't have any more viable or trustable information other than what Hotep says. If I did, I'd give it to you, but I can't trust any information other than what Hotep has said. Thank you, K-Dub. Uh, so, so we can only go, and, and I'm probably going to sign out after this because honestly, well, no, we'll look at a couple other videos and then I'll get out of here. I'm just tired of this whole subject, guys. I'm sorry. I'm tired of, of Molly packing Dre and, uh, I'm probably not going to stream on it. Uh, her attacking Dre after this video, unless something really big needs to be shown tomorrow night. And if that does happen, I'm going to make it very fast because if I keep doing this, I could stream for a week. I'd never get through all of the video of them attacking Dre. So I'm just going to anyway. Okay. All I can do is go by what Hotep says. And here's what Hotep says. And I think we should think about this because Molly is in this clip. This Molly was voted in the Grifties. So, okay, number one, most likely, Molly and, and Lobster got voted because they ripped off their audience. And you rip off uh, a community of tens of thousands of people, you could get a lot of votes. People could go in and vote you every few weeks because they give you 10 votes every, every like week or something or every day. So people that got ripped off could just go in every day or every week and drop their 10 votes on the person that ripped them off and they're done. But that... That, that bothers me because Charlotte was on the list. And Charlotte really shouldn't have been on that list. Charlotte was, um, in my opinion, someone who... Do you consider what Charlotte does a grift? I mean, you could. You could say that she's constantly targeting Katie with a very, very biased targeting of content and if you ask yourself why well yeah she makes money doing it that's why she's doing her show so you combine those things she's targeting katie is she being honest or dishonest she's dishonest a lot of the time and she's doing it to make money it is a grift but it's an arguable grift whereas molly and lobster man legit 
went to their audience, told them they needed money to get justice or to save somebody and or to set something right and then kept the money and didn't do what they said they were going to do with the money. So they're legit grifters. And of course, I'm going to have to defer to Hotep. I am going to take Hotep's word here. He says that Molly, Charlotte, and, and, and Lobster Man kept voting themselves with the use of bots to the top of the grifties. And that's interesting. Did K-Dub do another? <laughs> K-Dub. Thank you. Um, do you know why that's interesting? Because Molly, I don't know if Molly buys subs. I don't know if Molly uses bots. I've always wondered. I have literally no evidence to back it up. But the Lobster Man, the other guy at the top of the Grifties People's Choice Awards, he has bought subs on his YouTube channel two times that we know of. He has used bots before and admitted it. His friends would sit up and admit to using bots. They buy subscribers. He would buy subscribers, okay? So, I do find it a little bit of evidence here. If Hotep says the data they have on the back end shows that the grifties at the top of the list were voting themselves up with bots and the people at the top were Molly and the Lobster Man and we know the Lobster Man buys subscribers. Why would it be a big leap to think that Molly was also using bots and Molly was also buying subs? I don't know. Let's listen to Hotep. And we just have to mention them. One of them is uh, Donald Trump's NFTs. Now, some people didn't appreciate the NFTs. I absolutely did. And you're gonna I did too. I did too. Is this, is this Hotep? I think that's Hotep. I understand why in just a moment, because also a late breaking grift was FTX. Is he the one that came into your Twitter live that one time? No, it wasn't him. It was one of his tech guys. Yeah, one of the guys that helped run the Grifties came in and talked to me for a while on Twitter. And Sam Bankman for, uh, freed. Um, well, what we saw was... I, I, it could have been him, but I didn't think it was, was him. An attack on cryptocurrency, the cryptocurrency markets, community, et cetera, et cetera, the industry as a whole. And in that same week, Donald Trump released his NFT. So I saw that as a counter to the attack on cryptocurrency. And I saw that as something uplifting the cryptocurrency community as the federal government is trying to put their tentacles around the necks of our cryptocurrency guys. So I really appreciated, appreciated Donald Trump's NFT. Why didn't Boozy win? Yeah, if anybody won, it should have been Boozy, not Alex Tease. Stein. As for FTX and uh, Sam Bankman Free, I hope you go to jail. Uh, Uni, why do you like Trump's NFTs? And like, I just like NF I like NFTs as a grift. Not, I don't like them. I like NFTs as a grift. If I'm looking at a grift out there, then NFTs in general, not Trumps. I mean, yeah, Trumps are the Trump NFTs. I don't think they're Trumps, are they? I guess they could be. I, I've never heard of Trumps NFTs. I only know of NFTs that have Trump on them. NFTs are a major grift, in my opinion. I hate NFTs. I think that they are. Um, basically a way for companies and people to rip other people off through a failing a, a I don't think they're ever going to get a start like they want to act like NFTs are going to be like the new internet way to validate pictures and I think it's a grift I think it's a lie so I don't like them but as a grift yeah there's they're the biggest grift oh. out there <laughs> all right shout out to the grifties.com leader yeah you get me nerd right uh, okay let me explain <laughs> what's going on here for anyone that's watching who has no clue why we're looking at this clip. And, and you should know why, because number three on this list is Molly Golightly. Molly Golightly was number three. So let me explain what this is for people that have no clue. Let me explain what it means, and then we'll see if we're going to get out of here or not. Because, guys, I, I can't... In order for me to stream... There has always been one thing about my streams that I always want to be that I aim for, and that's funny. That's um, positive. I want you to come in. I want us to have a good time hanging together, doing something, and it's been that way since the beginning. I, Molly has gotten so toxic. Justin and them have, are so negative and so toxic and so nasty that I honestly can't joke around while looking at what they're doing right now. Maybe if they drop this Dre stuff and start 
you know, doing some other bullshit, I can laugh at that. But this Dre stuff is beyond the pale. Like, if they target another family that has a suicide like Dre's, or if they did the same thing to anyone else, it's not Dre. It's if what they're doing is so gross, I just can't be happy and funny and positive while watching it. So I want to get through this. But let me explain what we're looking at because it does matter. <laughs> I think it matters here. Definitely matters for Molly. I will hook you guys up with a bunch of rocks at, right before the end of the stream for all of those hashtag justice for Dre's. Don't worry. Okay. So there is a vote called the Grifties and they try to have this show every year. I think it started a couple years ago and I, I was confused because I thought what they did was they had a vote online and then the top 10 people who got voted the top grifters of the internet were given an award show for the top grifters. Now, maybe it's my fault. Maybe I should have watched the first grifties better than I did before because we did watch a little bit of it on a stream a long time ago. Uh, but we noticed that after... Uh, this after this um lol suit was filed and after the fraud razor that he ran was filed uh we noticed that sa nss <gasps> navy it doesn't just say his name yeah no it mm -hmm. says non sequitur show mm -hmm. is the biggest grift Oh my God, bro! Wow, the but old school the viewers. Show according to him, right? That oh he my is God. the show. Yeah, so the old school viewers are going to be like losing their shit because Nonsec got number one of the Grifties. Um. Anyway, so the Grifties is a fake or a joke award show that awards the top internet grifters with an award for being grifters. And I thought they voted them up, and then that was where they drew the main grifters from. But it looks like they chose not to do that. It looks like what they did was go out and talk about everyone who, who is a big creator that's called a grifter, and then made segments about them. And then at the end of it, they talked about the People's Choice grift. And honestly, I didn't think that's how they did this, but um, I guess we just learned that that's how they do this. Now, number one is Lobster Man. Number two is Charlotte. Number three is Molly Go Lightly. Number four is Keffels. And number five is Ethan Klein. And you know, this is pretty messed up because Keffels and Ethan Klein should have gotten one and two. And if they would have gotten one and two, I think they would have put them as the top grifties because they're both pretty big figures. They have, like, Ethan Klein has millions and millions of followers. Keffels has not not that many followers, like 100,000 or something or whatever. But Keffels is a huge grifter, and everybody knows it, and stole basically a hundred and some thousand dollars through a GoFundMe by lying about what was going on to collect the money and lying about what they were going to do with the money. Um... So you have to be asking the same question I'm asking. Why is this little creator, he is a huge grifter. He's ripped off thousands upon thousands of people. But why is this little creator, why is Charlotte on the web and Molly Golightly the top three grifters? According to the internet. It could be a lot more simple than we think. Now, now, Hotep is about to tell us what his data shows. And honestly, I'd say you should defer to Hotep because he ran this thing. He knows what's up. But I would think that with smaller communities, a lot of times smaller communities, and these communities aren't super small. There's probably 100, 150,000 strong when it comes to everyone between these three communities. And these three communities are very much intermingled. So with, with you know, with uh, Nonsec and Molly Go Lightly being on the list, I can understand Molly getting voted to the top. I could, I could understand her getting the top position. She's ripped off so many people with the Dre McRae and she had so many big views while she was doing it. You could imagine a shit ton of people would go over and vote her for the Grifties after they ripped, after Molly ripped them off. Um, 
<laughs> oh my god, I can't believe Charlotte beat Molly, though. There's something weird about this, because... Anyway, I'll let Hotep explain it. Um, yeah. Hotep, what the hell happened? Steve McRae, Charlotte on the web, and Molly go lightly. And shout out to the bots. We know a lot of you guys use bots to uplift yourself on a good... Okay, this is shocking. <laughs> He's saying that he doesn't believe that the bots were done by the enemies of these people, these three insignificant internet dwellers that somehow got their name on the list next to big internet figures. Uh, Ethan Klein is a huge internet figure. All the other people on this list, Alex Stein and them, are big internet figures known by hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. And somehow, Molly freaking go lightly and two creators who have under like 10,000 subs get to the top of the list. He is telling us Molly, Charlotte, and Lobster Boy voted themselves up. That's what he's saying here. And he's not happy. He seems like he's not happy about it. Grifties.com, we appreciate the effort and thank you for participating. This year will be a lot more stringent and we're gonna keep an eye on those bots, so. Okay, here's my number one recommendation. Only allow three or one vote, number one. Number two, make people log in. Have to create an account. Number three, if you do have accounts that have very strange IP and location data, do not allow their data to go through. That would be my way to, you have to protect against bots somehow in a vote like this. Um, I could, un I could un honestly understand that Lobster Boy would vote himself up, but I just can't see Charlotte or Molly doing it. Now, I do have a theory. We know that Charlotte and Lobster Boy both have been simping for Molly for a while now. So, is Hotep right? Is Hotep correct? Is it possible that Molly and Lobster Boy and Charlotte got together and came up with a plot to get their, to get their channels featured in the Grifties? Because normally they would have a whole segment to explain who Molly is, how she grifts, yada, yada, yada. A whole segment for Charlotte and Steve and how they grift and yada, yada, yada. Maybe they expected that and voted themselves up. And Hotep said, you know what? In order to punish them for messing with our vote in, uh, with bots, in order to punish them for messing with our vote with bots, we're going to not give them a segment to kind of burst their bot bubble because they want the segment because they're going to want people that watch the Grifties to rush over and... And, and sub to their channels or look at their channels. And, and is Molly so desperate that she would manipulate the Grifties? Are these other people so desperate that they would? Now, what bothers me is something like they've only, this has been put up three hours ago. They got about 2,000 views. If they would have featured a segment for Molly Go Lightly alone, if they would have just allowed Molly to have a segment on the Grifties, I think all of us would have rushed over there and watched this. <laughs> Right. If they would have had a segment for some of these other people that even if they're not big names, they have a dedicated community that that goes against them for conning people. And and when you hear the grifties and then you're like, well, I've been ripped off. You want to go vote and you want to go vote a lot and you want the person that ripped you off to be at the top of the grifties. So I think they would have probably made it would have been more popular. Like, who's going to go watch the Grifties if Alex Stein gets voted? He's not a fucking grifter. Who's going to go watch it if Sticks Hex and Hammer's cat gets voted? He's not a real pop. And what, who's, what do they got in the beginning? It looks like they're kind of just showing some sports winner, female grifter, female yeah, winner. Yeah. Musical grifty, musical winner. And then you've got political winner, Hall of Fame, late breaking grifts. Got oh, shit on me, bruh. Then this grifter of the year. And then it's got Alex Stein winning grifter of the year in a bathtub. And then, um, thank you for watching this year's grifties. And I hope you have a wonderful night. Don't forget. A special episode of Hotz has been told you is coming on right after this. Subscribe at youtube.com slash Hotep Jesus and catch. Why did they put it on Hotep Nation? This is a smaller channel, I thought.
They always have a Hotep Nation. Oh. Well, his main channel is Hotep Jesus, and I thought it's way bigger. It probably is, but the Griffey's, yeah. you know, it, it's a joke, so they put it on the smaller channel. Makes sense. Um, yeah, Sheree has dropped some stuff for you in general. Uh, two things. Uh, one of them is uh, some comments Molly made to, I'm assuming, the Patreon or whatever. And then the other one is a nice little video that LT put together. That's hilarious. Uh, what, the other is a what? Oh. I tagged you in it. Yeah, you can see I tagged you. To the it's back the of Patreon the, yeah. messages? I think it is, yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm getting so sick of Molly. Play some damn video games and veg out. All the messages. I'm getting a lot of messages on all my social media platforms about how surprised or shocked or how disgusted and disturbed people were at the body cam footage of Andrea today. But I have to say it was my third live today. What does your third live have to do? Like, so she's admitting that her own audience is disturbed and upset with the way she treated Andrea. And in my opinion, this shows a shift to go against Molly for what she's doing to Dre. Not for nothing, but keep in mind, I just discovered that a young trans woman was kidnapped, murdered, and her body was dismembered, and I can't believe nobody gives a shit. Molly, are you kidding me? What does this have to do with the way you treated Dre? So you're saying that the reason that you said all those incredibly horrible things about Dre was because you learned about another uh, crime. I don't believe this. I, I don't. I, this is complete nonsense to me. I have to admit it's really weird the way some stories can bother people and other stories don't. So imagine that you went and found a video of that person being discovered by their family, dismembered and chopped up, and made fun of the way they reacted to it. The victims. Victims of this happening, and you make fun of that reaction. People will get mad at you. People are going to get upset with you. How in the fuck do you even talk like this? But if you think about it, look at Monkey Vaughn. What is Monkey Vaughn? He got so little, I just can't believe this kid's nobody. This kid's body he's another was another child. That just, he's another kid that disappeared, and his nickname was Monkey. It's not his real yeah. name, but that's what they, they refer to him as. His family and name. Okay, and play somewhere else where he probably won't be found. And, of course, there's always Xavier. They treated that poor kid as if he never existed. And you treated Ray and her kids horribly. I sure wish I could have saved them all. I have hundreds of kids living in my house. What? What? Yeah, that was what I saw, and I was like, I'll this isn't making shuffle. sense. Oh my God, LG. <laughs> oh shit. What else we got of this stupid video? Uh, it's a great video. I just mean this stupid source material. They were helpful. And it was because she treated everyone like shit. And me and Justin were like, well, that's disgusting. You know. It's absolutely appalling how these people use Marvon Dre and anyone they could to grift misinform, lie, drag, shame, and judge to gain some sort of popularity contest. No one with any morals. Molly, Justin, and L drove this story straight in the bank. It is believed that each most likely pocketed thousands and thousands of dollars. Absolutely, they did. I mean, hey, a cash cow is a cash cow, right? Yeah. Called him a cash cow, didn't she? Jerry says, she said Vinny... Politan said to her they'd only take the story if Dre was charged, and she was pissed. Who's Vinnie Politan? Vinnie Politan. Only take the story if Dre was charged. Well, that makes sense. But Dre wasn't charged because she didn't do it. Yeah. Oh, no. Is this the video that that, that uh, one second, one second. I'm trying to. 
Is this the video that Nonsense was watching of Justin earlier today? Or something. A court TV reporter that she has contact with, he's on News Nation. Why would any court TV reporter have contact with Molly? They're just like literally like, ruining their reputation instantly. <laughs> that's the same. Uh, that's the same network that uh, Brian Hinton's on, right? Yeah. News Nation. Yeah. And yep. um, that other lady she attacks all the time. Why is he friends with her exactly? Oh, she right. acts like she's BFFs with Vinny. Uh, he's a crime reporter. He was so reluctant in this video. It's pitiful to watch. He's an anchor. Yeah. Well, it makes sense. Court TV. If they would have covered the Dre story like Justin and Molly and LB did, they would have been sued off the air. They would have been canceled off the air by their viewership, number one. Then other news stations would have reported about how a news station shamed and blasted a suicide video like this. Then the viewership, uh, you get what I'm saying, man. I, I, Banfield, thank you. Uh, I just can't anymore. Guys, I'm not going to be good at reacting to anything doing going on with the way they're treating Dre. So we're going to have to get through this now so we can get on with something different tomorrow because I just can't anymore. Hey, I'm live. Uh, Dre McCray. Uh, she has been cleared of the investigation. Oh, Justin. Remember this, yes. Oh, Justin. Justin is admitting that Dre's been cleared. Oh, wow. Um, you knew this when you went to Molly's channel. Don't act like you didn't. The entire chat was telling you this. You had to know this. You know Nonsense said this before you guys even went live. You know Molly's sub to Nonsense. You know you're watching Nonsense, okay? You know you knew this. You know, this is Justin saving his ass. Justin wants to keep his YouTube channel in case YouTube looks at what's going on. And so he's going to his channel and he's going to report that Dre was cleared. So that if YouTube gives him shit about Molly's stream, he can say, yes, I didn't know until my... As soon as I found out she was cleared, I went to my channel and admitted she was cleared. So no, I'm not trying to shame her. No, I'm not... Dead, dead. But, but Justin, you shamed her next to Molly. I just watched it. So no matter what kind of farce you put on your channel, unless you apologize for what you did on Molly's channel, no, you don't get anything from it. And even if you apologized, it wouldn't matter because of how vile you just were on Molly's channel. Brenda says, she calls him oh, back and says there's a false... Oh, go ahead. Brenda says, uh, she calls him back and says there's a false report going around that she's been cleared. Well, sure, she's going to lie and say that, absolutely. It's not false, though. And if she wants to prove it false, she could try. She, she, you know, she could try. She won't be able to, but... Okay, so I'm turning this whole thing up because I kind of want to hear what Molly says to Justin because we can almost hear Molly. So let's see what we can hear. And that's the only reason I interrupted you because I was playing it when you said that. So here we go. Uh, Dre McCray. What are you talking about? Dre McCray. What are you talking about? Uh, she, says, she says, like... What do you something? Ask him a question. She has been cleared of the investigation. Um, so. He goes like, uh-huh, or something like that. Hold on, let's listen to that again. Yeah, I'm live. I'm going to blast it, y'all, just let you know. Uh, Dan McCray. Uh, she has been cleared of the investigation. Um, so, if you want to come up, you're welcome to. Oh, really? She said, oh, really? Mm hmm I need to talk to you about that. Just, just relax for a second. See, I wish this was slowed down so I could actually hear what Molly was saying. Because I could, if I had source video at normal speed, I could extract what Molly's saying. If anyone has the original video of this, send it in to us because I will extract what Molly's saying because we can hear her. Just, okay. All right, bye. Okay. I need to talk to you. Um, so, if you want to come up, you're welcome to. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, if 
you want to come out, you're welcome to. Mm-hmm. Give me one moment, please. I'm going to do some uh, Uni Raka Magica. Magic uh, Uni Raka Stuffa. Brenda saying she was talking something about Olivia and a bunch of text messages. Well, we're going to actually listen to exactly what she was saying here. Side of my video. All this Molly amp. Process this in real quick. And I'll put you guys on screen so you can see what I'm Pull up something. Hey, I'm live. See it here and hear it. Hey, I'm live. Uh, Dream McCray. Uh, Dream McCray. Again, it'd be nicer if I had the original audio, but it's okay. I think I just got it sent to me. Let me uh, bring it down. You, you have it? Oh, throw it in general. Because yeah, I'll use sure. the original. Yeah. If I have the original audio, then I can uh, do it a lot better. Air this really quick. Yeah, I'm probably going to need the original audio, but you think you have it? Yeah, give me one second. Okay, I'll go ahead and get rid of this audio then. Give us one second, guys. I want to hear what Molly says. I dropped in the bomb in general. I just got it sent to me. Real quick. That's right. Hashtag justice for Dre. We will have justice for Dre. All right. 20 20%, 40%, 60%. 80%, 100%. it. Now we need to find this timestamp of where he gets the. I think the video is only 30 seconds long. If I remember what I was looking at. So it may already be it's there. It. What you gave me was 18 minutes. Okay. Okay. Here we go. It's right at the beginning. Perfect. Hey, I'm live.
With what? See how much easier it is to hear it. Oh yeah. Wait till you get a little uni rock magic. With what? With what? I mean, you can literally hear every word coming out of your mouth. Haven't been editing videos for almost 10 years for nothing, y'all. Why I make that cashish when I edit them vids. Why people give me that money when I Listen to it now. With what? With what? Tell me that you can't listen. Listen to the difference. Remember what you first heard? Couldn't even hear it. Listen now. Listen to this now. Hey, I'm live. What's what? Uh, Dre McCray. What are you live about? <laughs> what are you live about? That's what I hear when I hear her talk. What? Uh, Dre McCray. <laughs> what are you on? Tell me I'm not a miracle worker, y'all. PayPal.me forward slash Unirock to pay for them skills that pay these bills, y'all. I get a Red Bull for this one, I hope. Uh, she... Look, I'm gonna fix it to where we can listen to the whole thing and hear everything she says exactly as loud as Justin. And it won't even take me that long. Let me actually reduce the hum here. Maybe the hum? What are you on? Oh my god, it's so perfect. What about now? Let's see this. What are you on? Oh my god, dude. It's you, you can hear it all. You can hear it all. All right, let's copy this. Now all we got to do now is isolate where she's talking and apply my filter set to where she's talking and you'll hear every word coming out of her mouth. Uh, Dre McCray. <laughs> Uh, she has been cleared of the investigation. Um, so, if you want to, um, so, if you want to come up, you're welcome to. Brenda Bryn asked me to remind you that she does call back to you. Oh yeah, we'll get the whole thing, don't worry. She has been cleared of the investigation. <laughs> all right. Um, so, if you want to come up, you're welcome. She says, all right, okay. So, if you want to come up, you're welcome to. Mm -hmm. He says, hey, one thing. Hey, one thing. It's going to be a little rougher. It's a little more degraded, but let's see if we can do some magic here. A little bit of magic. Enhance our mid range, reduce our base range. Oh yeah, much better. In fact, I think I want to double boost the mids, which I'll do in a second. Um, Sharice says, rock a lot. He did this uh, 20 hours ago, so it's after they did the body cam vid, and they already knew she'd been cleared. Oh, I know. Trust me. We're almost there. I need to talk to you about that. Just Just trying 
Olivia said Olivia said and I, I can't pull the rest yet but give me a minute um, is it said or sent Olivia sent all these text messages Olivia sent me all these text messages. Okay, right here, up until this point, it says, Olivia sent me all these text messages. got it up to messages now i need to actually pull what she's saying in this last part which is the last part of the sentence okay i think it's victims i think it's something about victims something something Crime victims? I need to talk to you about that. Just just relax for a second. This way. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, he's Justin, my God. Why is this so loud? It shouldn't be. Oh, it's because I boosted that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to talk to you about that. Just, just relax for a second. This way. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. I really want to know what this little spot says right here. We've got. Let's hear it from uh, the, the grip here. Hey, I'm live. With what? Uh, With what? Uh, Dre McCray. What are you live about? Uh, she has been cleared of the investigation. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Okay. So, if you want to come up, you're welcome to. Yeah, but hey, one thing. Uh huh. Yeah, but hey, one thing. Uh huh. Thank you. 
Ah, that is degraded right there. Um, we can try to reduce noise, but it might cut out some of her, her. Oh, you know it. This is what I do right here. This live streaming shit ain't nothing compared to the hundreds of thousands and millions of hours I've spent in this video editor, okay? <laughs> if you haven't seen my edited videos, you're missing out because they are funny as all hell. <laughs> I am a meme machine. And, I, and I'm better with audio than anything else because I played guitar my whole life, so. Ay, 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 ay. We might have to go a step further with this little spot if we want to know what she's saying. Okay, live chat, I need to know. Do we need to know the second part of this sentence or should we just keep going? Because I can actually export this as a WAV file and pull it into a more advanced audio editor and, and clean it up so we can hear it. Or do you want me to go ahead and finish and then go back? We do need to hear it, right? I think we need to hear it. But, yeah, we need to know. Okay. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to finish the rest of this call, okay? I'm going to finish the rest of this call right now. And once we, once we hear the second callback, once we hear what she says in the second callback, I'll, I'll clean this one spot up, okay? So let me go ahead and do that real fast. So let's hear the rest of this. And we'll come back to right here in a minute. Let's mark this, though, so we know where we're at. Marker there and a marker there. So we're going to be focused right in this. This is our little question area. I need to talk to you about that. Just Oh, we need to know. Oh, we need to know. So let's hear the second part. Just relax for a second. This way. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. Hi, guys. Um, so I did, we did call today. Um, allegedly, Dre McRae is. Allegedly. <laughs> you, you love how he says allegedly here, maybe. Been cleared of any wrongdoings yeah, yeah, as far it's a as. Report, bro. Allegedly, you know, doing. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. What do you fucking mean, allegedly, man? Like, you know, could you imagine if it would have been Molly and everybody's sitting here saying Molly's guilty and they've got like four, five police investigations from different agencies clearing Molly and no, no one's listening? They'd be having a shit fit. Anything to yep. Marvel. Oh, this is backpedaling like he was freaking riding a 10 speed when he was 12 down the street in the summertime. On physically. Uh, no, physically, okay, mentally. Physically. No, Even. no, not physically. Mm -hmm. Not just physically, Justin. Not just physically. They actually investigated whether or not she gave him medication, whether she was uh, emotionally abusive or, or was Off any him. kind, any kind of mm -hmm. influence, any influence whatsoever in whether she prompted him like you said to do it so no it's not just physically you dingus um, so there's that he's backpedaling like he didn't know this because he knows youtube's gonna ban the living shit out of him out of lb and out of molly they know i'm right they know i'm right about that video they know they can't make an argument to youtube to anyone if they were hauled into court by dre there would be no argument for why they pulled that video, put it online, and, and sat and berated Dre like they did. Now, in my opinion... He called cares. the LE to confirm he implied. See what I'm saying? You know, she has, she has done... And to me, honestly, when I got the video... What has she done, Justin? So when you say oh. she's done something, you need to tell us... How you know. Finish so I think she did this to, yeah, finish your comment. I think she did this to Marvon because of this video where she, where this happened, right? You could at least act like a shitty YouTuber and tell us a brief reference to the video or the place where you've gotten the information from. You're not even acting like a shitty YouTuber. You're acting incompetent. And I know it's an Yo, act. yesterday. And when she said, should I cut him down, like, to me if like that's a question um shut the fuck up i will never look at you the same i will never look at you the same for judging this woman 
for, for saying weird things when she's looking at her husband hanging. The most terrifying, god-awful, fucking, I can't fathom seeing a person hang, let alone a loved one of mine. I don't know what I'd say. I, you know what I'd be saying, Justin? I'd be saying, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. I'd be losing my shit, bro. I would be fucking out of my mind, dude. I would be making up new languages that no one could understand if I walked in on something like that. I'd pass out. You could, after she cut him down, you could hear a thud. You fucking asshole, motherfucker. Fuck you, Beth. Fuck you. Which, hold on. Fuck you till the end of time. Yes. Okay, here we go. See, I can't do it. Guys, I can't subject myself to listening to these people do this. It is so disgusting. It is so ultimately disgusting. How do you live Evil. this down? How in the fuck does he stay on YouTube when any time anyone wants to criticize him, they can go grab what he said and did about this Dre shit and just embarrass his ass? Is it because he's just young? or not thinking, or uneducated, and, and you know he's going to mature to some point in the next few years, and he's going to look back on what he said and did, and he's going to be embarrassed as fuck. So, I, okay, I got to get in the head if I'm going to do this audio. Yes. So I'm not going to um, isolate this. She says Justin. Yes. Justin? Yes. Oh my God! Oh no! No, no, no! Oh no! Molly calls Justin, and she's so nervous over Dre being cleared. She calls Justin and says, "Where did you see this information, Justin? Oh my God! I'm gonna pee my britches!" Oh! Here we go. Which, hold on. Shut up, you, you, you spineless, weaselly, sick, sickening person. You are a horrible person. This is what horrible people do. Well, I'm Justin for all. Like, I care if people think I'm horrible. Nobody thinks you're horrible. You are horrible. Yes. Where is that lead? Where exactly did you see this information? Where exactly did you see this information? Because that thing that's floating around. Because that thing that's floating around Where exactly did you see this information? Because that thing that's floating around? No, no, no. No, no, it's No, no, no. No, no, it's... No, it's... Uh. No, no, no. No, no, it's... Uh, we we called. Oh, he verified it. I told you it was real. Well, he called and verified that the report that was going around is real. Yeah, he called and verified that the report nonsense myself you have is real. Because it is real. I don't know why they would even say it wasn't fucking real. Every single thing we've shown about this case has been real. Everything that we've shown and say is backed by evidence, by a source, by a video clip, by whatever I say it comes from, I tell you where it comes from. 
what are they trying to insinuate that uh, it's so insane that they are this out of their damn minds okay back to the job here it's not no 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 No, 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 it's... Because it's not official. Uh, we called. That's what she's asking. The you know official from the Yuma police. Yeah. Yeah. So she's said. calling. Oh. She's calling him and telling him it's not official. And then he says, "No, we called. It's real." We called. Yeah. Listen to the tone. The the tone change in Molly's stinky ass breath. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you did call. All right. So why were you telling Justin it's fake? Why in the world did you say it's not real? It, 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 it's fake. And then when he tells you that he called and checked, you're like, oh, okay, it's not fake. So you did lie. You called Justin and started to lie to Justin and everybody that the report was fake. You just started to lie. You were just lying. Called. Saying, no, they called the cops. We fine. called. Yeah. 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 Okay. So she says, "All right, right here." Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Two all rights. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in, but I'm not gonna amplify them. Yeah. Oh, you did call. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. What did she say here? Okay. All right. I'm the double or something. What? Oh, you did call. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you didn't know. Katja, did you know that I'm the one who discovered Gabby Petito's van door opened in the podcaster video when he pulled up because we put it into the video editor and went frame by frame by frame. We also discovered that Gabby's hat was inside the van and you couldn't see inside the van until you brightened it up in the video editor and then you could see Gabby's hat inside the van and you could see her shoes and a book sitting out behind the van. Pretty crazy. We were the ones that discovered the door being open. That, that stream is still up on this channel. It's a pretty crazy stream if you ever get a chance to watch it. We called. Official from the Yuma Police. We called. Yeah. Oh, you did call. Yeah. Oh, you did call. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So why is, Navy, real quick, why is Molly calling and telling him that it's fake? Wouldn't she say, no, 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 Justin, you don't understand. I know it's fake because of this. She didn't say that. Justin didn't ask her, how do you know it's fake? Because I called and checked. Wouldn't Justin exactly. be That's like... No point. She's trying to head off the fact that, you know, the report that has been going around that I have and shown to you and all this kind of stuff is, is fake. And Justin's like, no, no, we, we called and we verified it, right? Because she wants to put that narrative out there. And she wants him to put that narrative out there. So she's yeah. telling him... She's lying hey, to this, him so he'll say mm -hmm. yep, Therese 100%. says... It's it sounds like he's saying, okay, I can come up. Like saying she's, that she's going to come up on the stream. Let's listen. Okay. All right, I'm going to come up. I'm going to come listen. It's not like I'm going to come listen. Said that, Sheree. You hear what she's Wow, 
Molly, you don't want to come up because Justin proved that Dre is innocent. You would have come up in a fucking heartbeat if he would have called and it was fake. It, you would already be on that. You As soon as Justin said, if Justin would have said, Molly, I've found out that the report is absolutely fake, it would have been like the damn Roadrunner. Justin would have been knocked off the screen. Molly would have appeared on the screen and she immediately would have started stuffing popcorn in her mouth, chomping while screaming, I knew it was fake, that uni rock and that nut. Hoops on the ground. This is so exposing, Molly. This is so exposing. You are afraid of the fact of that. You are afraid of that report. You are yes. afraid of that report. You are afraid of Dre being innocent because you know if you're if if the narratives that you've been pushing about Dre are real, you would not be afraid. You would not be concerned to one degree. You would be perfectly like, it wouldn't matter if the, if the report's real or not, but because the report's real and it does clear Dre's name, you don't want to go up. Nope, nope, I'm not going to go up if Dre's innocent. Nope, I can't face your audience. If, if, if Dre's innocent, I can't face your audience and I can't say good things about Dre and I can't talk about Dre being innocent. Nope, uh-uh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> This is such an expose. This makes her sin look so fucking bad, dude. All right. Bye-bye. So, um... There you have it. Now, we have one little spot, and I think it's pretty important, guys. Right here. Now, if we can figure out what this says without me having to do additional audio work, that'd be awesome. Maybe not. Might have to render this, as, render this as a WAV file and bring it into further audio editing. That will take time and energy. So let's see if we can, we can hear it without getting more complicated. If I have to get more complicated, though, of course I will. And if you appreciate the skills I bring to the team, you can support me at paypal.me forward slash unirock, liking and subscribing, or cash app money sign unirachel. All these ways are in the description. Let's see. Okay, Olivia sent me all these text messages. What, what's what's Olivia talking about? What's what's Olivia talking about right now? The last thing that she talked about was her video with the WSU mom. So I don't know. Uh, let me see. Trying to deny. I need to talk to you about that. Just. I'm starting to think maybe the text messages don't have anything to do with what they're talking about. I'll put this over into edit render 2023. Edit render 2023. All right. Edit render. I need to talk to you about that. Just Olivia sent me all these text messages. I'm gonna have to clean her up.
baby metal stuck in the head uh also while you're doing this i just want to let you know sheree has dropped some more patreon posts that molly made apparently just now read through it and just get a brief of what i right. think it you know what i'm saying like i don't want it step by step or anything but all right let me see now i haven't used this program in a bit because i haven't had to get real crazy in audio editing, but let's see what we can do here. Um, um, hold on. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, yeah. What's up? So basically, she's uh saying that if you want to turn on me and you know want to leave me or whatever, please do. I thank everyone in my Patreon who's using it for the life coaching stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she is that basically blah, blah, it? Blah. She's, she's mad because people are turning on her or something. Yes, and then Justin for all did one that said I can't, I I can't with the Vaughn videos. Gosh, my heart hurts for Vaughn's family. I can't sleep. All right, we'll look at him here in a few minutes. Here, I'm gonna have to grab. If I'm gonna do this, it's gonna take it's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a second, and I'm gonna have to go and take a piss and grab and refresh my drink. But I'm doing this for my peeps. My peeps want it done. I'm doing it. So let's go ahead. I'm not going to play music real loud. Maybe if you want to talk to everybody, I'm just going to grab a drink and stuff here. Not cool. Thank you. You go ahead and do that. All right. Go ahead, man. I'll be right back. All righty. Well, I mean, the, the thing is, I think we're seeing here is that um, she knows. I, mean, I think she knew ahead of time that the report was real. And was trying to use any angle possible to kind of deflect it so she could attack Dre. And then Justin, who we heard about this uh, during that live stream, that Justin was going to go back through the body cam footage and break it down to find out where the cops made mistakes. And the one thing that Justin did, hey, Ice Queen, how are you doing? Uh, was that he actually did what you should do and called the police station to verify the accuracy of the report. And the answer they got back was not what she wanted. Right? And now she knows that when nonsense went live, Rabbit talked about it, Uni's talked about it, and all this kind of stuff, that everything she's been doing for the last like six months to you know, six months or whatever is literally just her making up lies about Drake. And now she's called. Not only that, but she called them while Justin was live. You think people ain't gonna catch that? Like you she's literally gotta be one of the dumbest bridge trolls I've ever ran into. And I'm sure she's going to try to spin it in the next couple of days to be, you know, something that it's not. But we have the audio. I mean, you hear. No, I agree, Dad. Yeah. I mean, we've seen this before, Dad. How, Dad, how many times have you seen this? We've got these narcissists that think that they know better than all the world around them. And they decide that what they say is the gospel truth, right? And anything that argues against it, you must be a troll or you're just a liar or, you know, this, that, and the third. And then when the evidence gets brought forth, Either they uh, tiptoe around creating another narrative or they shut up about it and try to deflect from it. We've seen this deflection happen a thousand times. And I guarantee that's probably going to happen with Molly after this whole thing with no one like the clues that we have of Justin doing this, her being honored at the same time. She is going to construct this cornucopia of deflection to try to uh, save herself from having to admit that she was wrong, but everyone knows. And she knows that everyone already knows. She's getting so. banned. Simple as that, bro. I think this idea for a petition is the right way to go. I think it's going to be big. And I think that Team YouTube will actually listen because that's what we need. We need Team YouTube yep. to see a bunch of people trying to say, listen, this is not a waste of YouTube's time. This needs to be done. This is an emergency. And when YouTube sees that, I personally do believe that the YouTube will do something. So here we go. Now, I have rendered Justin and Molly's last little call, which is a public call done on a live stream. So all I'm doing is amplifying this audio. It's, there's nothing wrong with that. Justin's the one that broadcasted it into his microphone. And um, I'm using an, a pretty lightweight audio open source program that I don't like to have on my PC. I'm probably going to uninstall it right after this. If you need to know why, you can search the Audacity controversy. If you're into tech 
and you're into uh, computer programs, I do suggest that you go down the rabbit hole. Uh, but I don't mind downloading it so that I can do this for you now. The only reason that I um, need to use Audacity is because I don't have my Adobe audio program installed. I'm going to have to do that. So, um, cause li like lately I don't even need Adobe After Effects installed. Adobe After Effects is where you make like 3D animations and Adobe, uh, the audio program, I forget what it's called, uh, the name of it, but it's where you do advanced audio. I don't have to do that. My, my audio editor and my, my video editor handles audio and video for everything I need to do because I'm just making YouTube commentary and uh, live streams. I don't need to make any more, like all the 3D stuff I use and the animation I use, I've already made it, so. Here we go. First things first, we're taking this thing out right here. I don't remember all my shortcuts, but it's pretty simple. I'm going to take this out. Need this. I need to talk to you about that. Just. And we don't need this. I need to talk to you about that. Just. Now, what we want to do is get rid of Justin's. I think and I know what it says. You do. It sounds what like you Olivia, like she's trying to deflect from what he's talking about. And she's saying Olivia sent me all these text messages trying to be nice to me. Okay. Because well, Molly me. had recently kind of called her out. So. All right. Give me, give me a second and we'll boost I'll, it. I'll, 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 I'll. Because Molly talks in between the. You know what? I'm gonna leave those in. Here we go. First things first. We need to. We need to. Um, we already know what this says. So what we're gonna do is apply a filter to that's going to uh, make this more audible. And then, and then if that filter works, if if we have success, we can apply the same filter to the secondary part. I don't want to just miss with the secondary part because I don't want to have to re rebuild the audio wave. So, uh, you know, I don't have to reload it, I mean. So just give me a second. There, get rid of that. Wrong. Uh, too worried about this. Get rid of that. Nope. About this. All right. Let's try this. And you got to give me a minute. see if we can reduce a little noise or so. Why is it for its noise pro profile? I'm just trying 
Dude, I am a genius. I am an audio editing and video editing genius. I don't care if I sound crazy. I don't care if I sound big headed right now. All right. Here is our cleaned up file. We need to boost it. Let's amplify it so that you guys can hear it a little better. Where do I amplify it though? Right here. Volume right here, amplify, okay. Uh, I know there's like a little volume knob here. Fucker, I just need to turn it up. <laughs> so crazy, doing the simplest things can be hard when you're using a uh, program you haven't used. Wait, is this it? Son of a bitch, I'm dumb. <laughs> Olivia sent me all these text messages. I need to, I need to fix this. Zoom in and select tiny. Tiny fractions to repair. Let's try to repair this. Uh, motherfucker, that's tiny. All right. 
We just need to restart. I need to talk to you about that, just... Very easy to hear that Olivia sent me all these text messages for this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's saying trying to be nice to me, as in like she was trying to get back in her good graces because she had disagreed with what Olivia did with the interview. Yeah, I think That's so. That's just too, my but... opinion. Uh, Summer Wells, stop online exploitation. There's a link in the description, which has a great verbiage as an example. I want to take a look more at these past cases with Molly, too. Do you think she's saying something to the effect of... So if I had to guess, Olivia sent me all these text guess, messages. Trying to be, be nice to me. Like, and this is after Justin has told her she was live. He's live, right? And she doesn't care because she's more worried about talking she, about no, Olivia. She doesn't, she doesn't know that they can hear her. Justin and her don't know that the audience can hear the audio. And that's why he tells her we'll talk about this later. It, it hasn't yeah. have anything to do with uh, Dre being cleared. It has the effect she's bringing up a topic he's not talking about. I know, I know. Fuck. Think any better, but let me just try. Okay. Olivia sent me all these text messages. You're going to have to read them, I think is what it's saying. You're going to have to read them. Or I got to... You're going to have to hear them. I need you to hear them. Because there's a couple noises that are happening when she's talking, and there's a bumping of the microphone, and it's causing it to kind of distort and take away what the words actually are. And then add a, a a noise or two that aren't part of Molly's speech. You go back like this. Text messages. You're gonna have to read them. Yeah, it's something to that effect, but it's, I don't think it's anything super important. Basically, Livia sent me all these text messages, and then she makes a statement about the text messages to Justin, and he stops her and says, you're going to have to talk, me, talk to me later. 
So that's the best we can get there. But I'm actually kind of surprised because we pulled all that audio. And remember what, what she said in the secondary part of that audio. She said, Justin said, uh, Jerry, McClay, Jerry McCray has been cleared. Molly says, no, no, that, that whole report's fake. Justin says, actually, it's, and then she interrupts him. Well, it's not fake. We called. Oh, you called and checked it? Yeah, we did. Oh, okay. And then Justin either asked or implied for her to come up on to the live. And Molly said, no, uh-uh, no, no, I'm not coming up or something like that, right? And what that tells us is that Justin starts a live. Molly calls Justin to talk about some drama with Olivia. She's going to shit talk Olivia and all this stuff, right? Because you're right, Navy. Molly and Olivia, Molly did a stream, and we were going to look at this before this whole thing popped off, remember? Uh, Molly, Mo uh, Molly did a stream basically flipping out at Olivia because she had this person on and, you know, just all this nasty stuff about Olivia. So it makes sense that Olivia sent these text messages to Molly Basically saying, Molly, I wasn't trying to be rude to you. I wasn't doing anything wrong to you. Yada, 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 right? So, Justin interrupts her. And when, when Molly finds out that Justin verified that Dre has been cleared, that where you have been telling the truth, nonsense has been telling the truth. And, and I don't get why Molly still thinks she can just use a blanket. You know, at some point, you have to be able to trust nonsense. Not the information that she's giving, the trust that, that she's going to check something before she brings it to you, and to trust that she's going to show you a source. You're not trusting like with Molly and Justin where you have to trust them that they're being honest with what they say and do. That's not how you have to look at myself or nonsense, right? But what's really, I think, exposing about the audio we have here of this phone call to Justin is that Molly is trying to convince Justin off the bat. The first thing she says, Justin, that report's fake. Well, it's, it's not fake, Molly. We called and confirmed that it's real. Number one, that Justin would call and confirm that it's real, right? Now, if he called and confirmed that it was real, he had to have a copy of it. So you know Justin read that entire thing. So there's two very exposing things here. Number one is that Justin went live and did that and stream after reading how many and how much Dre's been cleared and how innocent Dre is, right? And he still sits there and treats her like that. But let's wipe that off the table because I'll bitch about that for hours and we'll have a horrible stream. Molly, though, lies to Justin. Who, and you know she's been lying to her patrons. You know she's been lying to her audience. You know... That when people, and where do we have these these things at here? Uh, General? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's see, what's this here? We already read the one about disgust. People were disgusted at the body cam footage. Then she talks about the young trans woman and tries to change the subject, right? We got new ones. I mean, she's on a fucking excuse and post spree. So. Oh, God, I think we got this one backwards. This one came in backwards, I think. Um, but before we go off the air, this is what we're going to look at here. Oh, this is Justin. Y'all, oh, my heart hurts with Vaughn's videos. I can't sleep, fam. Shut the fuck up, Justin. Treating Dre, treating his wife. Don't act like you care about Vaughn when you treat his wife and family like you do. Do you really think that Vaughn is going to forego? Let's say Vaughn wait, Marvon wakes up tomorrow. He comes to YouTube. Do you think he's going to forego his wife? And be okay with how you and Molly and LB treated her this whole time. You think that you think that Justin's gonna side? Uh, you think that Marvon's gonna side with you guys? 
and be okay with how you have treated Dre. So if you really respected Marvon, you would care what Marvon's opinion was and you would listen to it and find out that he loved Dre. And if you wanted to question Dre, you would do it respectfully. If you wanted to question the way she reacted, you would do it nicely. You guys have been vile. You guys have been completely vile. Now, back to what I was saying here so I can go offline. Work on my upload tomorrow here. And it's almost done, y'all. It'll be up tomorrow. But, as we heard in this audio, Molly lies to Justin like she's been lying to everybody else to damage control about me, nonsense, and down the rabbit hole, and Heels, and Kathy, and everyone out there that has shown, uh, I know Forgotten Whispers did, show, they showed the report and, it, and, and represented the truth about the report. So Molly just goes and lies about all of us to everyone she can. But she calls Justin. When she finds out Justin's streaming about Dre, what about? He's been cleared. Oh, that's a lie. That report that they're looking at's a lie. No, I called and verified it. It's real. And then instead of... Now, if Molly would have heard Justin say, I called and verified and it's fake, Molly would have jumped up on that stream and went off like you wouldn't believe. If it would have been anything else, she would have jumped up on that stream, but because he verified that Dre's been cleared. And that verified that it's true. And Molly can't say that it's false. Molly just can't. Oh, Molly lied for no reason. Molly learned of the existence of the report and just straight said it was a lie. She didn't need any proof or anything. She just said it was. She just literally does what I said where she makes up her reality. She wants to attack Dre and she wants to make money off of it. She just says it. You know? Um, but what's really interesting is not only did Molly do the video that you saw us react to in the beginning, attacking Dre, not only did she post to Patreon talking about how people stopped turning on me, stopped leaving my channel, not only did she call into Justin's stream and do what I just said, but then she just posted this. If you are the junk channels spying or doing whatever you are looking for a reason to turn on me please do don't pretend to be my friend and watch people lie and insult my family i certainly would not do that to you yes you would <laughs> are you kidding me dude? You the only lying? person is yeah the only person uh, insulting your family is you molly you are lying on me you are lying on nonsense. You're lying on Navy. You're lying on every channel that uploaded and talked about Dre being innocent and being cleared openly. I've caught you. You're done. It's done, Zo. It's not going to matter. It's only the fifth 5,443rd lie I've caught you in uh, with hard evidence, every detail and step of the way. But again, yeah, it's another lie you got caught in. And the, the reason people are looking for a reason to turn on you. They're not looking for a reason. You have been delivering them reasons. You are, the, what you've done to Dre could have easily happened to any of your patrons, any of your viewers. If they would have been in Dre's situation and you could have made a shit ton of money by turning them from a suicide victim, their family being victims of this happening, to the, the thing, the narrative that you pushed about Dre to milk that money, you would do it to anybody. You did it to a creator with 800,000 subs. You did it to a creator that for the first time, and this is what's going to be so big about this story when we make the videos. Now that we have this report, we can make our final videos, I said yesterday. And what's going to really be exposing is the fact that if Dre wouldn't have been a big creator, you wouldn't have been able to make this money. But also, she had... Video after video after video public and video after video after video behind a paywall. So you only looked at her Facebook lives and saw the public ones. You didn't know that there was another huge amount of them that were member only. You didn't even know they were there. So when you thought you could look, when you looked at, at Dre's lives and said, well, she's got all these streams, but you know what? We can still lie about it. We can still convince people. 
You didn't realize that there was like five times as many videos documenting her entire life every day with her family and that it would imagine that you lied on one of your viewers or someone else who didn't go live every day documenting their family life. You would have gotten away with this. You would have gotten away with this against Dre. The reason we could stand against you is because of those videos. Is because she documented her life. If Dre would not have documented her life, you would have succeeded in turning her into this. Everything people thought about Dre previously would be changed into what you and Justin and LB made up about her. Without all of her documented videos. Also, Dre was, on top of that, pretty... Famous, pretty well documented, pretty well known, and she had a very dedicated base. And it was that dedicated base of people like Puzzle Pieces and the others out there that brought the videos behind the paywall to YouTube and said, look, here's the truth. Here's more. Here's a lot more. Here's a lot more videos. Here's a lot more evidence. And what we've been able to do is if you look back at Summer Wells, if you look back at Shannon Watts, if you look back at the other stories, Gabby Petito, that you covered, we knew you were doing this. But this is the real first story where we can document how you create your content, how you go and target a victim in a tragedy, and how you build a lucrative, shocking, mysterious mystery filled lie all fabricated from the ground up and how you go about implementing it for fundraising fraud raising stealing money from people doxing and attacking to protect it i could go on for 10 more minutes and go through a timeline of thanks to this dre case how you construct these lie narratives that you monetize now, the biggest shocker here is that Molly has gone from scared, panicking, mad, and now she's in the fight back phase. And you all know when she gets there. Remember the, the refund phase of the Letitia fundraiser saga? Remember that? There was a point where when she was doxing these people that she began a fight back phase. And, and you saw it when she went after me. And after nonsense. And when she went after other people, right? Hashtag justice for Dre. This is that. She is trying to lock down her Patreon donators. She's trying to lock down her core inner group. She's already admitted that a large portion of her audience is mad at her for the Dre suicide reaction they've seen nonsense's video they've seen my video they've watched molly's and justin's video and they're mad at molly and justin so she's gone to the core communication center for that inner group and told them that if you get mad at her for how she treated this family how she exploited their tragedy how she made fun of them and attacked them and judged them, that you're not in the right by representing the truth. You're actually turning on her. Because if you're her friend, you're going to let Molly monetize a suicide. And you're going to let Molly over-monetize the suicide through what she did to the video and what she did to the fundraising with Dre. Anyone that questions her or criticizes her is turning on her and they're not her friend. They're also lying and insulting her family. I haven't insulted her family or lied on her. Nonsense hasn't. None of the clip channels have. I have no clue what she's saying. But I do actually. I have no clue... What she's saying, if she was talking reality, what she's doing is building another narrative. It's, it's what we have found us a S tier. Is it S tier? The highest tier, right? When you rank something, it's like F and then it's like A, B, C, D, E, F. A being the highest, F being the lowest. Above A is S tier because it's like super rare, super awesome. 
We have found us an S tier narcissist. This is an S tier sociopath narcissist. She can literally weave like a magician, like a witch. She can cast a magic spell through to talking that will weave a reality, a new reality in front of her. So her way of defending herself to try to stop her donators from, from piecing out, from leaving over, realizing that they could be the next victim of Molly. Anybody, anyone could be the next victim of Molly. All you got to do is experience a tragedy. Could be your family member, could be you, could be your son, could be your daughter, could be your uncle, could be your aunt, could be your grandma, could be your mom. Any of them could be the next victim of Molly. God forbid you could know your best friend's family could be the next victim of Molly. And I'm talking to her patrons. I'm talking to everybody, but I'm talking to her patrons. But this is a magical spell of narcissism. It's turning the people that criticize her into people that insult her family. It's, it's not true, but it's just how Molly does it. She just says it and it happens. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> That is why everyone is criticizing you. You would do that. You would do it to anyone, Molly. Nor am I the type that needs to cut others down to build my own self-esteem or self-worth. Well, maybe not your self-esteem, but you have to do it to build your YouTube channel, to build your business, to build your bank account, your pocketbook, your wallet, your membership, your views. Every Now, maybe not your self-worth. Maybe you don't judge your self-worth through cutting people down, but you definitely cut people down to build a narrative against them, to turn them into a monster that when they aren't, and to defame them, slander them, so that you can build up all those other things. That is a huge... Oh, my God! She admits that it's a huge personality disorder. Molly, do you want to know something that's characteristic of that personality disorder? Having it, you want to know what you want to know something that's characteristic of it? Not being able to recognize it in yourself. So when you have that personality disorder where you're such a narcissist that you warp reality to your own needs to the point where you will tear down someone like Dre, lie on someone like Dre to make money. Part of that personality disorder is that when you look in the mirror, you don't see yourself doing it when you are literally doing it. That's part of it. Part of being a sociopath is believing that everyone else is the sociopath or the bad guy. Part of being a narcissist is everybody else is the narcissist, not you. If you objectively stepped out of the situation and critically looked in and compared you, Justin, and Molly, um, you, Justin, me, and nonsense, and all these people to each other, you would see that you are the one doing all of this. If you can't spot that, I'm sorry. I'm not the right person for you. That's a true statement. That is a true statement. I will agree with you. If you don't allow yourself to be lied to and brainwashed by Molly, then Molly isn't the right person for you. Absolutely true. Also, thank you <laughs> to all whom are utilizing the patron for life coaching. You guys are certainly keeping me busy with the sessions and making me stronger and yourselves. I feel extremely sorry for anyone that you're life coaching. They are lost. They are lost. They're only going to be led into further pain and suffering. They may one day end up emulating you, and because they aren't as trained in how to lie and how to back others to defend themselves, they might wind up in jail, they might wind up losing everything, they might wind up losing their family and friends, all because you life coached them. If you have received at least one session from me, I'd appreciate a review or recommendation in this thread. You're all appreciated here. Two hearts. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, what a long stream. And I know I said it last night. Last night I told you guys that today we wouldn't be going over a lot of this Dre stuff, but I mean that for tomorrow. Uh, the number one reason is I can't take it. Even if I need to talk about this Dre stuff again, what they're doing to Dre, I mean, not Dre herself, um, I would need to take a day off. Whether I take a day off and I don't stream, or whether, they, whether I take a day off of this stuff, um, and I just talk about something else tomorrow. It, it doesn't have to be something completely different, but maybe we can look at Olivia finally. That We need to look at the water bottle video. I'm going to give you all my problems with the water bottle. I listed them earlier, but I need to go in depth. And then we need to look at uh, Olivia's interview of ASU mom and some, and, uh, and some of other Olivia's content. Olivia, in my opinion, is another Molly. Um, I think everybody who's in that group knows what they're doing, and I think that they're actively working together to try and hide it from others. So I do think they get together. What I mean by that is I think when they talk to each other, they are communicating that they're going to lie about certain things, that they're going to lie about reports that are out there. They're going to morph stories in certain ways. I think they team up, right, to do it. Navy, what do you think, man? Um, like, again, I said this to you yesterday. Sorry for tonight's stream. Hopefully tomorrow it'll be a regular stream. Let's make sure we do a regular stream tomorrow, man. Can we do that? <laughs> oh, sounds good. I like that. Um, it is um is there anything about Molly and Justin and LB and all them the way they do things? It just turns my stomach. Right. And the fact that that there even even is one person that's looking at her as a life coach just makes me makes me sick. Because she is nothing but a like the thing, one thing that we've learned by watching these people who act like she does is that they are not happy in their own lives. Their lives are not what they pretend to be, right? They come out and claim that I, you know, my life is great and this and the third and family's like, you know, blah, 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 or whatever. And then they turn around and they're so vitriolic against people who do have like a good family system, who do have, are, are successful, are, you know, attractive. And in the case of Molly, especially, she hates attractive, successful women. And so, that's another lie that they keep trying to push is that her, like, you know, oh, my life is great. Well, it's obviously not because you are so vitriolic that you're attacking anybody who you perceive to have the life that you wish you had, right? And so if anyone's out there listening who does still follow Molly and all this kind of stuff, I'm like, it's one of two things. Either you're dumb as a rock and you're just not seeing what's going on, or you yourself are, are vile and vitriolic for continuing to support attacking an innocent woman, an innocent family, and not just one, but multiple families, multiple innocent people, right? And, you know, you're just as bad as she is. But um, I think the, the great thing is, is all these channels are, are, are exposing this, including yourself and Rabbit and Kathy P and, and Nonsense and, and uh, Forgotten Whispers. I mean, this is, the, this is the good work that needs to be done. This thing needs to be exposed, and they're going to be on the Internet forever. So I know, agree. Awesome. Um, two channels were basically following Molly's footsteps. One had like 16 views today. Another had about 120 views, and they were basically just shitting on Dre, acting as if Molly, basically parroting all of Molly's talking points against Dre. Very small creators, basically just mimickers of Molly. Though, several other creators were sharing the fact that Dre has been vindicated, though two of those creators uploaded the body cam footage in Molly's footsteps. Most likely, smaller creators looking at Molly saying, oh, Molly got views. Oh, LB got views. Oh, we can get views if we do this, and they're mimicking them. Though, another channel named Jacob White uploaded many very long form streams of, of uh, Marvon and Dre and the kids. So... What I would like to do is Mr. McCray, look at you guys. Now listen to the description of this video. Vaughn prepares. Vaughn prepares. Vaughn. Here, let me share this on uh, my community tab. How do you tag Justin? There it is. Oh my god, the first time I ever get there it is. Jay Frey. Here's Vaughn being emaciated uh oh by the way Vaughn cooked this one I know crazy that that Dre has Vaughn so controlled 
that he is actually cooking with the family with them also they do some bible talk and 20 questions round table over bible stuff which by the way if we look at the statements y'all made while talking about their body cam this video seems to completely and utterly debunk and destroy your lies. Anyways, hope you sleep well after attacking a family people during the hardest of their life. Vaughn prepares an alkali vegan dinner for the McRae family, and they play 20 questions in the style of Bible characters. Dre then does crazy makeup look before removing her makeup. She then trims her armpit hair with Vaughn's clippers and shares her natural toothpaste recipe with supporters. Finally, Dre reads my book of Bible stories to Raza. You know, because, and the reason I just tagged Justin and Molly, it was the first time I could ever tag Justin, any, by the way, um, is because Justin and Molly acted as if their family doesn't wake up together, do school with the kids together, cook every meal together, read Bible verses and do Bible things together, and then hang out together in the evening before going to bed at the same time and then getting up and doing the same thing together. They said that Vaughn is emaciated. He's not. Vaughn cooked the damn meals. They said Dre forces Vaughn. No. Dre never forced Vaughn. He was one of the main proponents of the diet. The main proponents of the different medicines to try to help him with his seizures. Everything these people said, Justin and Molly, about Dre and Marvon were lies. And it's why they are disrespecting Marvon. It's why they are Attacking Marvon when they attack Dre. Hashtag justice for Dre. That literally means that the people who have done this to Dre, Marvon, and these kids should have their YouTube channels banned. Not because I'm for banning. I'm not. I'm completely against it. But when you have people viciously lying, viciously making things up, not in, if they were just, when they were doing it in the beginning, I didn't call for them to be banned. I'm calling for them to be banned because they pulled a suicide video, mocked this family, and disrespected this family through the whole thing, and lied about their religious practices, lied about what Dre was doing to demonize her, and said that Dre was doing the wrong thing the whole time when Dre saved Marvon's life. They framed Dre as a murderer and said she was trying to kill Marvon when she saved his life. They then said that, they sh that Dre should be pulling the plug on Marvon, and Letitia said that while Letitia was stealing money, going to a probate lawyer, most likely trying to get his money, most likely trying to get more money out of his estate, not trying to help Marvon and the kid, or she would have filed to help Marvon and the kid. Everything they said was wrong, and this is why on social media debunking confirming, never believing anything on the internet until you fact-checked it. Have to do that or you're going to get conned. But why would somebody con me into believing that this family, this happy family, hates each other and that the mother is this controlling evil person abusing the kids and the husband? Because after convincing you of that, they said they needed all of your money for a lawyer to save them from her. They ended up Keeping and stealing your money off with it. Hashtag justice for Dre means that Molly, Justin, LB should be investigated by YouTube, meaning YouTube needs that what they need to watch the videos where they did this stuff and apply terms of service. And unfortunately, if you've seen what the what Molly and Justin and LB did, you'd agree that they need their channels taken down because they violated terms of service just out of the park.
Hashtag justice for Dre. I'm Uni Rock, and I will see you. I will see you tomorrow. Maybe not live, but I might be live as long as I get my upload up earlier because I'm cutting off live streams until I upload because I can't get it done. <laughs> I keep wanting to stream with you guys for hours, and it's fucking up my upload. So tomorrow's an upload day. Let's hope I go live, though, because I'd like to see you. If you want to support me, paypal.me forward slash unirock. Or for free, you can like and subscribe to Unirock2 in this channel at Unirock TV on Twitter. So tired of talking. Not tired of talking about this. I'm not tired of defending Dre and Marvon. I'm just tired of talking. I get too angry when we look at this suicide video stuff. That's what we need to move away from the suicide video. You need to just get the petition going, get it to YouTube, let them handle it so that we can get away from this because it's starting to affect my mental health. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even playing. It's starting to really weigh me down to think anyone's family could have been targeted like this. You know, I could have, when I was suicidal, when I got out of Iraq, I could have killed myself. Could have. Very easily, I was very close to doing it, but I got help and, and got things together. But if I would have, could I, could I fathom my, could I fathom my family being attacked like Dre? There's no difference here. There's no difference. It, we all could be Marvon. We all could, could have our family attacked once we're gone. You know, and Marvon, Marvon, what would Marvon say? That's what I ask myself every time I talk about this story. What would Marvon say? I know Marvon would thank nonsense would thank all of you would thank me i know he would because we followed the facts and i know that he would file charges and he would be petitioning youtube with us to have these people have their channels looked at by youtube i know he would you agree with me navy Vaughn agree with this yeah i know 100 percent. i mean from everything we've seen they they love each other they have problems everyone does but I think if he were to wake up tomorrow and see what was going on, he would lose. And I think he would lose his shit, as he should. Um, DNA because, Tribe says the channel wow. is restreaming full paid content of Dre's. It's not cool. Are they restreaming it? I think they were just uploading it. Let's see what he's doing here. Well, before Dre strikes this channel down, I need to go in and pull these videos. If you if Dre if you think Dre would want this channel to go down, I can message the channel. But before I message the channel, let me actually just add a note here. He's not making any money. You notice he's not getting any views. So I don't think it's damaging Dre's content personally. Uh, I do agree with you. I think that he should get Dre's permission before doing this. But do me a favor. Before we think about taking, asking him to, to stop doing this or asking him to take his channel down or to take Dre's content off of it, give me a couple days because I want to go and watch a lot of these and then I want to download the ones that I need because there's a lot of them here that I haven't seen. And I mean, look at all of these. Look at all these. Uh, there's a lot of good content here. I don't know why they hate Dre so much, man. Navy, tell me, wh why do they hate her, dude? What did she do? I mean, my theory to love her, but why hate her? I... Um, well, my theory about Molly hating her is because Dre is pretty, she has a great family, and she's successful. And that's really the reason why she attacks pretty much anybody. So, but that also is indicative that your life is not going the way you wanted to, and you're disappointed in your own life, and you go out and you lash out at those who you think have the life that you believe you should have. Look at this. Look at. Have I lied? Tell me that I'm not telling the truth when I say that Vaughn and Dre documented years of their life. Look at this. 
Let me scroll fast. Look at this. These are just a portion. Uh, sure, Anita, go ahead. For sure. Just tag me. You don't have to donate again. Just tag me and I'll read it, okay? I mean, look at all of these videos. Like, these are just a small portion of Dre's live streams that documented her life. Molly and Justin and LB should be able to go through these videos and pull out where the things they claim about this family are true. I've gone through these videos, not all of them, but a lot of them, and I've pulled examples that back my arguments. Why can't they? Yeah, Anita, if you want to type something, just throw it on down there, okay? I'm looking for it. I'm going to go offline here soon, though. Solo, was that you that got yelled at? They loved each other and their children. I know. I don't ever want to hate somebody just because of the way they live their life. I want to I, I want to maybe not agree with someone sometimes and, and criticize them, but the vitriolic lies and hate that they have here. I'm a... Yeah, I got to download these tomorrow. My cat is a better life coach. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, We need to grab these videos. We need to get a lot of these videos backed up off of non-publicly so they don't affect Dre. We need to figure out how we can get a... Google Drive or other drive with all these videos in it. If you have a way, let me know. Uh, Anita says, my daughter was injured in the military while in the hospital. She saw someone self murmur. Having flashbacks. Definitely. I will definitely pray for her. I will. If anyone else wants to either, if you're not religious, send good energy to Anita and her daughter or pray for them or however you do it, please do. Yes. I will also. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it offline. Channel is Jake White 333 at Jake White 333. And what I want to do is I need a resource like what Jake has that's not public so that it's not affecting Dre's business so that when I need clips of these videos, I can pull from that Google Drive or I can pull from it. And tomorrow what I'll do is I have a big hard drive and I'll try to download the key videos to that hard drive. And then if you guys want me to here in the near future, try to reach out to Jake and say, look, man, don't do this to Dre. She needs people going to her Facebook and helping her out and stuff. I will, okay? I will pray, Anita. I give you my word. I'll do it as soon as I end the stream because I just do it pretty. I do everything like that pretty privately. It's the only reason. Uh, active challenge to Molly and Justin and LB. Every every claim you make about Dre and Marvon be able to be backed up in these videos. And you call yourselves YouTubers. This and what you're gonna say that this isn't what YouTubers do. This is what I've done for all these years. Go through. A mountain of hours of video pull the clip so that I can make arguments that's that's how I've that's how every youtuber does it it consumes you but that's how you make good content not by exploiting tragedies so try to be a real youtuber for once y'all and go into these videos and show me anywhere or what you guys Justin Molly and LB say about them is true because I've already went in and proven that you're lying only chance because we are going to take this petition to YouTube for them to investigate you and we're getting together to do it tomorrow it's starting tomorrow it, it, remember you guys didn't do anything wrong so you shouldn't care I I try to catch it oh I forgot the damn rocks holy shit I'm so glad you said that because I almost ended it I'm giving you guys a million rocks right now. You got a typer emoji to get them. <laughs> Holy shit, you guys would have killed me if I would have logged out. Some of you have been waiting around this whole time just to get a million rocks. Here you go. <laughs> You're here. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you 1.5 million for making you wait, okay? I never give this many rocks, by the way. One five zero 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 zero. So that's one point five million. Guys, I am pretty exhausted, so I'm going to do the countdown. 
So if you want the rocks, please type her emoji now. I'm going to do a slow countdown, but I'm doing the countdown. I could keep talking and I'm stopping myself. <laughs> Like, literally stopping myself from saying anything. All right. As soon as I type payout engaged, I'm going to click the OK button to pay 1.5 million rocks, okay? I'm only hesitating to make sure you all get a chance to type her emoji to get them. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Like, we're paying out. This has been a hard story, bro. <laughs> well, it, 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 I mean, it really is because it, it affects so many different people on different levels, right? Like, there's multiple levels of story of how the pain and 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 and, and everything that you know this family's going through hits everybody. You know, they get it like a, a wide swath. It's not just vets. It's it, it's the action itself. It's the family having to deal with getting yelled at and and mistreated and lied upon and all this kind of stuff. People calling, you know different agencies to report them for bullshit. It's, there's so much. It's, it's heavy. It's really heavy. Bubba. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be therapeutic to start editing videos heavily on this. I think it'll be really therapeutic. So I agree. It'll end it all. And but it has, the thing is it has to be called out. This has to, Somebody has to say something. Right. Is there any? Is there anything else they can do? Like that's probably the last thing that they can do with the body cam footage, right? Well, especially now, because the thing was, you know, on on her stream, she was talking about how Justin was going to go through and show where the cops messed up. Now that he's admitted on live stream that they know she was cleared, there's no mistakes that the cops made. Like, she was cleared. It's fucking hilarious that LB was like. Oh my God, responding officers are supposed to act like crime scene investigators. <laughs> oh my God. My table's smarter than she is. <laughs> my cat, Gus Gus, is smarter than she is. It's not even an exaggeration. He's Gus Gus, when guy. Gus Gus is asleep, is smarter than she is. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're out.